Launchable
Good morning, everyone. The ads are over, so it's about time. We head to the next screen. That was. Why am I so tilted? Oh, that's why because the camera's tilted. No, that still doesn't fix it. <laughs> oh, it popped out of its holder. Welcome. I'm not muted, right? No, but the music is. There you go. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello. I had a sick and twisted dream last night, chat. I had a sick and twisted dream, and I... It was the... It was the... Oh, fuck. Ah, my camera. It's been so long. It has been... Everything's falling out. Hold on, chat. Give me a five minute. I'm tempted to buy it, start the game redeem. It'll be a waste of money. It won't go anywhere. I won't even know what to do. Anyways, thank you to Modern for subscribing again uh, for 16 months now. And thank you to uh, Nayu for being our ham champ of the day. Thank you so much, Nayu. Even though I forgot to turn off the redeem of ham champ and I left it as pog champ. That probably confused a lot of you folks. I eat lead. <laughs> We love lead. We love lead. We love lead in this house. It is so tasty and good and delicious. Welcome everyone. Welcome to the uh, Avispa, um, the, the Avispa in the current event stream because that is what I love to do. You, you know me. This is where you get your news from, right? Uh, chicken, a fish book. God, I love, I fucking love eating bread. <laughs> Hi chicken. Welcome. Welcome. Hold on. Let me go put this back here. And let me take a fat sip for the uh, fish bow redeem, which which wasn't named anything else before that. How could I survive the harsh chandra of Chernobyl if my stomach isn't lined with lead? <laughs> yeah, I dude, I am so not flabbergasted. I don't think anyone was surprised that Lunchables, the most um, what do you so how do you call it, the most plainest of food actually healthy or anything i don't think anyone was surprised that it was a uh... how do i say this how do i say this yeah lunchables isn't exactly everyone's first go-to snacks uh when people love the and care for their child but no one thought it would have lead in it an, an excessive amount of uh, lead and sodium why in god's name would you make this your title scene <laughs> what do you mean it's funny it's relevant um Although, and this generation is just so messed up, chat. Uh, we have l the most artificial uh, flavoring of food um, in terms of convenient food. Uh, we have soda. Um, the only good thing about this generation is that um, we, well, most people stopped smoking, but now we have vaping, uh, which means uh, no generation is free from uh, the terrible acts of their generation, if that makes sense. Lunchables was just fast and fun for kids, which is why it's popular. Yeah, but it wasn't the most delicious, I'll tell you that. I actually <laughs> stopped smoking, but now babes, which is just as bad. Ugh. Yeah, it really was just as bad. Now, <laughs> I was just in high school when vaping was starting to pop off, which was really unfortunate. Honestly, we were almost going to get rid of having shit in our lungs just by virtue of social shaming. <laughs> At least for me, that's what it felt like. Hold on, let me look at the different types. Uh, yeah, I even know someone in my own uh, family that's picked up cigarettes and I'm like, Jesus Christ, what the... Uh, hi, Avi, I'm Mad. Hi, welcome, welcome. Hello, Mad, I'm Avi. Open the mission to tap. But yes, chat, I am so happy today that you guys have all made it to today's stream. It has been a fat minute. I haven't streamed since Friday. It is Wednesday now. Oh, sweet. Oh, oh, sweetie, let me tell you the horrors of the health world. We are falling apart at the seams. Yeah, Eden Man is the, the front line of it all. He's seen every single um, current event that's happening in the health industry. Hola! Hola! I have a 
question though. Are any non-Americans in the chat familiar with Lunchables as well? Are they or are they just like an American invention? That is an Amazon link. Thank God I checked beforehand. Uh, open image a new tab. Don't worry about what I'm doing. My favorite activity is to give dirty looks to smokers. God, you know what? I should la um cough obnoxiously around the <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm allergic to gas. No, that's the wrong thing to say. I'm allergic to fumes, to smokes, to cringe people. I hate this. What did I do? Yo, who's taking a shit in the vape room? <laughs> that was honestly what it was like in my high school. Uh, I think one time there was a, a fire because of the vape. Not because of the vape. Someone started a fire in the trash can of the bathroom. I don't know whether that happened, but let's just say that... Uh, <laughs> The babe kids had nowhere to go. Just cough insanely loud for 10 minutes and go right up in their face and complain about it. I don't know about complaining about it to them. I'm not a confront confrontational person, but I, sh but I should cough. I should add that to my daily walking routine. Uh, just a distant rumor from America. From America. Oh, fuck. Cough, cough. Sorry, I'm allergic to stinky life. <laughs> my fumes. My, uh, what do you call it? My fumes aren't that bad. What do you call them? The stink fumes? That's a name for them. I need to think of words. Now. Oh god, this is the worst quality of anything I've ever had. Okay, just high school things. It truly was one of the most high school experiences of all time. Uh, stench! That's what it's called. The stench! Thank you. Sorry, my vocabulary is very limited to yapping. Welcome to Yap Wednesday! I'm so excited to see you guys again, and I'm so happy about this totally relevant and topical topic because, uh, if there's one thing I need to learn now, it's that I need to learn to be on topic sometime. But that is okay. I kinda wish I streamed Monday, but that's okay. We can talk about the eclipse, um, in, in 20 years. <laughs> I do some complaining as a warm up in the morning, then I do it as a job, and in the evening as a hobby. God, this pause is a yapper, a complainer. I love it. Avi, where's the quirked up white girl that owns this chat? Oh my god. Um, let's talk about April Fools. I totally forgot about that. Um, how did you guys like Friday stream? <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. Uh, Friday stream was really fun. I had such a good time with you guys uh, on the latest April Fools thing ever. Was a banger. It was really fun. Uh, what is up, Avi? What up, Laser? Uh, see you in 20 years! Oh yeah, Red Lunchables. Yeah, we're going to see the downfall of the Lunchable Empire in our lifetime, and I am so happy. Time, Mara, Mara, thank you for, for subscribing for eight months now! Oh, that's it, you didn't leave a message, but that is okay! I thought you did! You have fun every stream, Wasp! Ah, yes, you do, thank you! Actually, I can name a couple of streams where I thought, ugh, this is the worst stream ever. I'm going to delete this spot afterwards. <laughs> nah. I don't think I've had actually only like three streams and most of them are become someone like spoiled things But that's about it. The ABC tier, uh, streams are top tier. Yes, I'm so happy I was so happy that um, The people that are new here got to le meet uh, the ABC crowd, which I'm very excited about um, First of all, there is me, Avi and there was Beko, um, who was overtaken by Chia in that model. And then there was, uh, Chia, oh, sorry, me at the end, uh, who was, uh, taken by an AI. Um, Beko did not voice me in the last one. It was AI voice. Um, but, but if you tuned into her regular stream, which happened yesterday too, uh, I hope you guys got to enjoy her voice too. She's very funny. She's very funny. She made me say some curse and shit, but you know what? It was fun. Let me go sip really strongly now. But yes, uh, I was Chia and it was really funny. I, I had a really good time being Chia. Um, I, all of a sudden when you're put on the spot like that, I just forgot, like, this, not everything about Chia, but I was just like, oh, what do Canadians do? I sang the Canadian anthem. Uh, I said I'm Chia a lot, but I didn't mention the pirate part enough, even though the pirate thing was really, really early on. You guys cursed me with, um, telling the white shink story, like, twice. It was really funny. <laughs> just, hi, I'm Tia. I'm Canadian every 10 seconds. It was just, I just forgot everything I had in mind. And then I realized, like, oh, fuck, I didn't say, like, some cursed shit. I didn't yell at chat far enough. I didn't, w what else is she like? She didn't like Pokemon, but I don't know Pokemon. I don't know. Tia was pretty cool. I hope you guys all got to meet Tia. It was very fun. 
You should have said sorry. <laughs> I don't know if singing was the right word for it. I mean, to be fair, in an anthem, it's you can kind of flub anthem. So, singing the Canadian anthem is the most American thing I've ever heard. It was great. Um, I I wish I did more. What else did I did? I did tell that I was a country girl. There was another thing I would I thought I wish I could have done. I don't remember right now. Singing. Oh, I already read that. Rah! <laughs> But it was great. Um, I was gifted an Oreo from the Lunchable once by a kid once. Pretty poggers, I guess. That is very nice, Eden. Did that person like, like you? I think they had a big crush on you. Thank you for the redeem, Ava Bobo. I'm gonna take another sip of water. I actually want to run a poll right now. How many of you guys actually... But yeah, but actually, no. Let's talk about the evil thing more. Um, the Chia thing was very funny. I kind of felt bad. Not bad. Like, put it in perspective. You're Chia and... <laughs> Imagine this. You're Chia and all of a sudden, um, you had a bunch of essays that was due on Friday. And you thought, oh, fuck. I don't know how much I'm going to work in them and, and how much I'm going to squeeze time out of them. I think she took a week off of shame or like did one shame. I don't remember. I think she did take a week off to finish it. And all of a sudden, your friend showed up like, hey, let's do a funny April Fool's idea. And luckily, I pushed it back from Monday to Friday. And she's like, okay, thank God. But also, she didn't know whether she'd finish them on time. I don't know whether her essays were due at like 11.59 p.m. that day. But she did finish them quite early. And then she's like, okay, finally. All my essay work, everything I've done for school is done. And now in about two hours, I need to start stream after not seeing my hamigos in forever. And then you show up and you're not even you. You're Becco. <laughs> it was fun watching Chia just play Pokemon as Becco. <laughs> it was great. I got diagnosed with celiac when I was seven, so I did not know the joys and beauties of Lunchables. What's celiac? That is an interesting term. I've never heard that before. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. It's a disease. Uh, an immune reaction to eating gluten. Oh no. You're allergic to gluten. I'm so sorry. No, the kid was just in the waiting room while I was waiting to transport some patients. Oh, I thought it was a classmate. Okay, never mind then. I thought you were talking about, like, elementary school, but that's very sweet of that kid to do. Uh, honestly, yeah, I'd give you a cookie as well if I was a kid in a waiting room. That sucks, seeing a child in there. Um, but you know what, Rogue, you avoided it now because you didn't get the pleasure of, um, a bit of lead in them as well. And who knows how long they had lead in their products, honestly. Um, Lunchables has always been, like, kind of a, a fishy thing. Um, oh, man. I, I remember the first time. Okay, what was your guys' first uh, Lunchables? <laughs> what do you- Okay, hold on. I'll- Okay, no, 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 no. I'm going, I'm going off topic. I'm going- I'm hopping around. I'm hopping around. We'll see the lead effects in 20, 10 years. Got you! Uh, lead makes things taste sweeter. I agree with that statement, honestly. It was the best- It's the best part of food. None of them? Okay. Have you tried- Tried Lunchables? Oh, wait, no. I just do pulls. Then, have you tried Lunchables? And then it's yes, no. Okay, let me ask you that guys that one for two minutes. All right, pull is up, pull is up, pull is up. No lead product for the Euro Bros. <laughs> I know, dude. It sucks. You guys can enjoy it. Well, plainness of Lunchables. How they ruined every good food there is. They even ruined pizza, dude. It tasted nasty. Uh, I had the pizza one like once. I don't usually because my mom makes me bentos for lunch. Yeah, your parents actually, you know, wanted you to have a healthy breakfast. This is just an indirect way of asking if you're American. I mean, like Rogue said he was allergic to gluten. There could be a reason why you've never tried Lunchables, such as like your parents love you and or they like having money. Because Lunchables were pretty costly even back then. The lead builds character. I like that response. Welcome, D'Angelo. Welcome. I like that response a whole lot. That's so good. Because it's true. Let me move this thing to the side right here. Wait, where'd it go? Wait, what the fuck did I touch? What the... Why is my background moving? Uh, <laughs> don't worry about it, chat. Don't worry about it, chat. Uh, but yeah, chat. It's great. It's great. It's great seeing like who avoided it because of family stuff and who got it. And I'm actually interested if 
about the people who get it like a lot of times. Uh, Avi, did you have Lunchables or did your parents love you? Yeah, exactly. That's the exact question I'm asking. Um, no less. If I could have one, I would try the pizza one. It looks horrible, but in a good way. Like grocery store cookies. Honestly, oh my god. I'll show you guys a full... I'll try to look for like the full um, different types of Lunchables right now. Because I only had like two of them. I remember the one day my, uh, my mom was actually like, actually, you can grab one Lunchable because my mommy is a sweet, sweet mother. Um, and if we're good kids in the grocery store, then she would buy us like a candy at the end or something. Not every time. <laughs> Usually we'd have to be good until the end of the store and maybe she'll consider it next run. It was a very funny form of uh, parenting where the child... Oh, okay. So four people in my chat have not tried Lunchables. And eight people have. Okay, 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 good. Um, Lunchable hand cam? No, we're not eating them today. I don't know if I'd be able to find them um, in my perimeter. <gasps> Maybe I could have. Do you guys want to do that like in a future stream? If you don't knock over the entire row of glass bottles, I might get you candy. <laughs> no, my sister, my brother and I had the same mindset. My brother and I fought a lot in the car. Uh, <laughs> and my sister was always forced to be in the middle of us so that we didn't fight, which is a fun dynamic to have. Um, and, uh, okay, this is the one I had as well. Wait, I already have this picture up, right? Oh, sorry, sorry, chat. Sorry, chat. I'm looking at the, uh, images right now. Yo, it's La Hormiga. She lives. Welcome, Beijing Red. And welcome. No, I'm not La Hormiga, but welcome. Welcome anyways. Okay, uh, should have had Lunchables ready for your date. No, no, dude. <laughs> Imagine being fucking 21 years old and getting Lunchables. That is so terrible. <laughs> Get me out of the date dating market now and into prison. La bitch butt. <laughs> That's so dumb. That's so stupid. All right, uh, uh, that would be a pretty good idea to try Lunchables on this stream. Should I? I kind of want to do it tomorrow, but I'm like, no, I, I'm not available tomorrow morning at least. Maybe? No, 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 don't do it, Avi. We hating on Lunchables now? Welcome, Loki Cats! Welcome, Loki. Thank you! We hating on Lunchables now? Yes, always! Always! They are dog water. Wait, do you like Lunchables? Uh, if I'm dating someone and they get Lunchables for a date, I'd marry them on the spot. Childlike love for life. <laughs> You, they're so sad. They're, they're just, you eat them in like a minute and then that's it. That's your whole lunch and it doesn't even fill you up because it is tiny. Eat Red 40. I've heard that's like the cool thing that gives you some weird tummy stuff or some people are allergic to now. Not now. That's why you buy two. <laughs> that's so funny. Bruh, no thanks. Lol. Welcome, Alistair Redgrave. We're talking about the deliciousness that is Lunchables. Um, they have been found to have a lot of sodium and a lot of, uh, lead. Hold on. I'm trying to pull up most of the Lunchables I've had. I'm trying to find this one particular one. Open a new tab. Um. Uh, open a new tab. Open image a new tab. There you go. I keep losing my tabs right now. I'm trying to find this one thing. This one thing I had. There it is. There it is. There it is. Open image a new tab. Alright. I'm gonna show you non-Americans the beauty that is our culture of cheap food. The maxed out Lunchables was where it was at. Maxed out Lunchables? I don't think I've heard of that. But it has a candy tree. It does. And it's so funny. I can't wait to show the Euro Bros about it. Oh my god, I've never seen a maxed out Lunchable. That looks so funny. And very 2000s. I think this is the one I had. Okay, let me show you guys at least the ones I've had. Alright, chat? Okay, let me see if I have every tab in order. Okay, 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 okay. I think so, I think so. American culture equals lead food. American culture really is just seeing the lab rat experiment that is, uh, how much chemicals you can put in food. <laughs> and then, like, the fucking European bros being like, no, that's gonna be illegal, sorry. <laughs> we can't have this shit in our land. Okay, um. 
let me guys show you. Let me show you guys what I had as a kid. At least the few Lunchables I had. Where is it? Huh. Hold on, hold on. I got it. 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 There you go. Don't worry about the tabs. I'm not worried about... Ooh, you guys are gonna see the secret tabs. I don't care. I, I don't got nothing to hide. Hold on. Let me... I won't crop it. I think I'll leave it like... Hold on. Give me one second. To put the overlay at least in background. There you go. Alright, chat. Not the secret tabs. Alright, so this is the one I had... Uh, once that I thought would be a good idea and a tasty treat. Usually, okay, so um, they would either come with a candy, they could change depending on which one you got, and sometimes if you're really lucky, well, not lucky, it's in the cover, uh, it comes with a juice in it as well. So you get these cheese dip and salsa, look, either this little ketchup thingy or this uh, cheesy thingy. And, and uh, that's the one I've had before. Um, let me tell you, the dips always run out before the chips. Uh, <laughs> always a consequence of life. I hated eating this one. Um, chips, Kit Kat, and a Capri Sun? That's a lunch? Yeah, uh, that's America for you. Let's Welcome, Fuzzy! <laughs> Whose feet um, are those? Oh my god, I, lo <laughs> I love that. I love that. I love seeing emotes from other VTubers be like, what the? But <laughs> my tabs are totally normal. At least in this window. If I go to another window I have, it's over for me. Also, welcome, Fuzzy. Thank you for your 29 months continuation. Uh, I've even looking up Yaoi in our spare time. No! I don't want to consume Yaoi anymore. It's brain rot. Just kidding. Uh, we need Avi feet. No. The weird thing is that it was supposed to be the refrigerated, but who the fuck wanted cold cheese and nachos? Yeah, that's the worst thing about all these products to my non-Americans or non-enjoyers. Um, all of these products come in cold. Um, I don't know why. Most, you cannot reheat them up because the, the way that they're wrapped up in is plastic. So they're not supposed to be eaten warm, just cold, which made the cheese worse and this weird sauce thing disgusting. Uh, well, actually, no, the, the sauce, sauce isn't usually warm. What the fuck, Avi? Um, sometimes cheese can be warm, and it's very nice. Okay, uh, and then here's another one I have. The, hold on, no, let's not talk about that one right now. Let's talk about this one. Fucking chicken dunks. This is the one I've gotten once. Uh, you get fucking four sad peaches, pieces of chicken. Not even chicken nuggets, they're called chicken dunks. And an Oreo. Cold chicken nuggets? Yes. Yes, cold chicken nuggets. Cold, because usually they have cold cuts like ham and stuff. Yeah, but the pizza. I fuck with the pizza. Ew, I remember them. Yeah, everyone loves the pizza, but I want to talk about that one last because it's a favorite. Oreo, Oreo. Yes, Oreo. No, it's scary. Despite how Americans are known for having cheese on everything, the vast majority of Americans have never actually eaten real cheese. Um, we do have one state. I, I wouldn't know if I'd say that. I wouldn't... I, I, America has plenty of, like, actually really good cheese. They have a lot of farms in here. We even have a state that is called, like, the Cheese State or something. I forgot which one it is. Wisconsin? It was, like, on a test once or something. Uh, but what you're talking about is the American cheese, which is, like, the weird, um, craft one. Some Americans do have them, some don't. Uh, a brand of cola, like Shasta. What are you talking about? Hold on, hold on, hold on. RC Cola. I've never heard of that. Uh, hi, Abby. I found a ton of Lunchables on the back of my fridge and gorging on them right now. Anyways, what are we talking about? <laughs> I love that. Welcome, Pop Bell or Pop 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 Railing. Welcome, welcome. Um, we are talking about <laughs> our prediction on which of these has the most lead in them. My my bet is on the sad chicken dunk because it's a leftover or whatever chicken uh there is. And then pumped full of like something to give you the artificial feeling of feeling full or hungry. Eight grams of protein. Gotta grow those wrestler muscles. Yeah, these are uh, eight grams. How did you know it said protein at the bottom? Or oh, maybe because they scroll down. I'll crop it out a little bit less. There you go. Of protein. <laughs> uh, uh, Oreo. Oreo. Where did I hear that once? 
Anyways, uh, you can even peel off the nugget crust. It's, it's, this one was the worst one. Present any American cheese to a European and they'll likely be sick, lol. I'm not too sure, um, the type of cheese, but, um, I actually haven't tried too much cheese, so I am not, like, a cheese expert. I would love to have a courtesan cheese review. Is that what it's called? Courtesan? Cortican? Little cheese plates. American cheese standards are actually stricter in the U.S. than you. Really? We are hope oh my god. The vast majority of Americans have eaten real cheese. Processed cheese is not fake cheese. It has actual cheese in it. Watch the Nile Red video on it, please. Yeah, um, Nile Red has done some very interesting products. I haven't seen that one. But... There's been a lot more talks about, like, what is cheese. It's very interesting. Uh, for someone that has never eaten any type of fancy cheese or anything other than, um... Pepper Jack. It's really interesting. American cheese has to be rebranded as cheese byproduct because the FDA didn't like their process. The Kraft one is the one I believe is the fake cheese, but I'm not too sure if it's like everything. Uh, Wisconsin is a cheese state. And Missouri State Louis has its own original kind that is only made there, apparently. It's even used in the famous IMO pizza. I don't know what an IMO is, but I'm super interested. <laughs> Hold on, I need a burp. I'm not burping on camera. Not again. Cheese that's been melted and has an emulsifier put in it to it doesn't suddenly become not cheese. <laughs> I love that sentence. It's filled with sawdust and plastic to keep you full. Oh my god, yeah, I forgot about the sawdust thing. The sawdust and, uh, what is it called? Crispy cheese? No, crispy... Crispies. I think they're just called crispies. What is it called? The box thing? The square of crispy cereal. Never had it. I tried Krispies one once. Uh, if you never had this one, uh, thank your lucky stars, because this thing is gross. Yeah, Rice Krispies, thank you. Rice Krispies, yes. Um, what's this funny cheese I found in an alleyway? <laughs> Anyways, um, it's good freaking pizza. I believe you do. I don't know how pizza could be redone in a way that it's made with love, but I'd be willing to try it. Plastic, as a technical term, is used in cheese processing. It only means the original state of the cheese was changed and put into a shape. Huh. Yeah, a lot of like food shit is so technical and nerdy and it sucks to be a consumer reading uh, these things being called chicken patties and chicken dunks and then there's chicken nuggets and then like other names for it. It's so crazy. Am I the only one who is worried about why people are discussing what cheese is? Um, it's uh, an interesting thing. I don't I'm not too much of a foodie to say it myself. Why? Um, the least real processed cheese is the Kraft Singles. It has more fillers in it. Anything looks, uh, labeled Deluxe Single is just cheese. Hold on. The least real processed cheese is the Kraft Singles. There's more fillers in it. Anything labeled Deluxe Single is just cheese and emulsifiers. I, I, yeah. Kraft is the one that is, um, on trial, I guess, in the American public's eyes now. Yeah, yeah, it was called Lunchables All Stars. It came with hot dog, cheeseburgers, a piece of chocolate, and a can of soda. That is funny. I've never tried that one. Uh, although anything past, like, the yellow box, I've never tried ever. Um, let me show you guys... This one now. This is a classic Lunchables. Where you get a cracker and an already, like, uh, circled, formatted piece of ham. And, sorry, slash, um... Slash turkey. It's either ham or turkey. Avi, where's the mascot? He's dead. I don't have him on the screen right now. Uh, plastic is definitely a state of matter, like liquid or gas. It's a semi-solid with some liquid with them. Yeah, it's some sort of property human has made, and it is uh, quite indestructible. The Walmart brand Deluxe Single American Cheese is the same they use at McDonald's. Oh, God. I actually did have some McDonald's um, a breakfast. Like, when I was... What was that, Monday or Tuesday? Uh, one of those days. Either Monday or Tuesday. I, I was out. I couldn't get food uh, at home. So I went uh, to get McDonald's. And it was the most disgusting thing in my life. Uh, I ordered the steak, egg, and cheese... Spagel? And that shit was so salty. It is so salty. And I think it was the steak... I never want to order any food at McDonald's again. I always make the mistake of thinking, maybe this will be good. Avi, could you really yap about Lunchables for three hours? Yes, I can! Anyways. 
What was I talking about? Lunchables. Did you eat your Lunchable today, Avi? <laughs> no, I have not, unfortunately. But you know what? So if they're gonna be recalled with this um new uh weird findings of things, who knows? They might be sold in the black market for a very expensive price. Oh, that thing. It's not great. That meat patty is weird. Yeah, I tried... I think I tried this once and the crackers were the only saving grace of it. But you could really just make this in your own time. Uh, paying extra for ham and cheese cracker sackers is really, really sad. And this is craft cheddar too. Uh, pasteurized... Prepared cheese product is what it says on the box. Uh... Oh, that thing. It's not great. That meat patty was weird. Yeah, it was pretty weird. I hated it. I had so many regrets. Regrets. Oof, recalls. I had to deal with one of those Monday. No, was not fun. <gasps> My condolences, Rogue. Was it after you bought the product and then you heard about it? Or was it when you were like, hmm, I have a craving for this thing? Or did you just happen to see, like, an empty aisle of food? I only saw a recall once in my whole lifetime. And, uh, where I used to work in my retail job? Like, I saw signs of things being recalled, like a recalling history. It was really interesting. Uh, no, I was the one who had to grab the shit. Oh my god. <laughs> I see. Um, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 where was that thing? Uh, Einzig. Finally, a VTuber that understands just chatting is actually just yapping. Dude, I know. It is so great having a word that just means to just babble on forever and ever and ever. Because that's what I do. You should have gotten the McGriddle. I should have. Or maybe I just shouldn't go back there because it was more than $5. Uh, well, that mask got lasted the same amount of time as your last date. Once. Rip. McGriddle is all I needed from McDonald's. Is McGriddle really that good? I don't want to talk about McGriddles. <laughs> Uh, the lead is what gives Lunchables that unique zing. <laughs> lead can't be that tasty or noticeable, right? No, I was... Oh, I already read this. Uh, apparently cheddar cheese isn't supposed to be orange. What the fuck? Then why is it orange? This leads to the last part. The extra cheesy pizza. Um, also, you could heat this up in the... Yeah, it says keep refrigerator to not freeze. Um... You can eat this cold, but some people are smart enough to, you know, put this shit in the uh, microwave. But when you're a kid being sent to school with this, you're not going to have a microwave accessible to you uh, in the playground, unfortunately. Um, so you usually just had to kind of eat it like this, because if you already make the pizza before you leave home, it's going to be cold by the time you uh, reach uh, recess. And by that time, you might as well have just not opened the box in the first place. Uh, uh, if, uh, what are we talking about? If Avi ever has a parallel slash opposite slash evil twin, would she ever just play games all the time and never talk? <gasps> that is true. That is true, though. That is true. Uh, if, if Avi had an opposite twin, I would be such a gamer. I would be a loser, but the opposite flavor. I only ate Lunchables at room temperature after sitting in my back. Ew! Room temperature Lunchables is an interesting choice. Uh, hated the cold Lunchable pizza. Yeah, they were often eaten cold, and I've tried it once. Uh, the crust is the saddest thing in the world. <laughs> um, the cheese didn't even taste that good, and the sauce was so deplorable. Should be illegal. Um, makes three pizza- hold on, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, uh... Makes three pizzas, mozzarella, pasteurized prepared cheese product, and pasteurized prepared cheese product. Why did I say it twice? Mozzarella pasteurized prepared cheese cheese pe product and pasteurized prepared cheese product. Pizza crust, pizza sauce. They don't say what's in the crust. <laughs> That's so funny. There's no ma there's so many macroplastics in the lunchables that you might as well eat the packaging as well. <laughs> This shit is so fake, dude. You can just eat the box as well. It might be even tastier. I love that. I love that. Do these come with pepperoni bites? If still, I want to snack on them. I think they used to. Now that you mention it, I don't know why I don't see any with them. But yes, chat. Uh, so I decided there's a vast majority of uh, Lunchables. So before we hop off this topic entirely, let's talk about a food tier rating of this thing, honestly. 
I've only tried a couple of them, but you know what? L let's see what the full collection has. It might be a little bit harder to see. Yay! These don't have a lot of variety. Oh, fuck. You can barely see the images. It's okay. Uh-oh, my background is go- Why is it all just one? Huh. Oh, I see why. I see why. I see what I did. I see what I did. I see what I did. Don't mind me, chat. <laughs> the room is connected. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't see that. I'm so silly, chat. It's because I made the background uh, changeable. That that makes sense. Okay, let me do... Where did I put it? Where did I put my window? Ah! Just put them all in the Lunchable tier way before, below F, please. <laughs> Honestly, deserve. They're really gross. Okay, we'll talk about this briefly. And then we'll get over this topic. My immersion! <laughs> Bornick! <laughs> he thought this room was wheel. Hold on. Okay, 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 okay. Um, so this one, uh, oh, I can't just put it in the middle. This one had nerds in it. So these are the chicken dunks I talked about. But most of this shit came with candy to make up for the fact you were eating sad, sad food. Uh, chicken dunks are definitely an F tier, as I talked about. Uh, and this one gave you a cookie instead. You can barely see it, but there's an actual cookie in there. Um, uh, uh, the ham and American are C tier, because even though the ham is very inexcusable, um, the deliciousness of the cracker, uh, kind of makes up for it. Do not add candy with Lunchables. It's the only way you can actually be filled with something. Uh, let me talk about these weird ones later. And then this is the pizza one. Uh, this one doesn't have the, the yellow cheese. This is the one with actual pepperoni in it. Uh, I've tried the pepperoni just as sad. But you know what? I think the funness of making a pizza... Unfortunately, it's really fun to make. Terrible to eat. Welcome, Nicknomancy. We're talking about Lunchables. Actually, no. This should be a lead, this should be a lead tier. Since we all know these are not going to reach S, let's do this again. If I were to predict which product had the most lead and sodium, I would put this at A tier because this is unforgivable food. Um, Where where do you think the pepperoni would be placed in as well as the fake bread and the disgusting sauce? Do you think this would have like sodium? I think it would be a B tier for, so uh, for lead. Lunchables, what's that? <gasps> it's a thing that um, that God has left us with. <laughs> God gives his uh, hated children these Lunchables. It has to be one of the gray ones. Yeah, you think so? Hold on, we'll get to that one soon. Uh, these are just the uh, turkey and American. Which one do you think the turkey and American one is? I'd say C tier. I don't think lead is in the hair. Actually. Hmm. So which one do you think has more lead? The pepperoni, um, the pepperoni slices with the tomato sauce and the bread? Or just the turkey and cracker one? Avi, welcome Max, welcome. We were talking about, um, which one has the most lead? Hello, oh, welcome. Which one do you think has the most lead? Why? God gives his greatest battles to his silliest bees. <laughs> I'm Chilean, we don't have those here. Oh, thank God. You're not missing out on much. They're very overpriced. Very sad. The pizza ones. Okay, maybe the pizza ones have the most lead. Even though I, I hated this one the most. I think pizza has the most lead because of the tomatoes. Oh, <gasps> you're right. Tomatoes would actually be the reason why. Yeah, you're right. They would be the reason why they would have more lead. Back then, uh, they killed people because they had a lot of mercury. But I could be wrong. Turkey in itself is also the most disgusting meat, I feel. Um, if you don't know how to cook it right. And it's already hard enough trying to enjoy Thanksgiving with someone that just promised that maybe this year the turkey will go good. So do you think an American factory would be able to make turkey safe and healthy without a little bit of extra chemicals? It might be turkey too. All right, we're, pre we're pretty tied between turkey and ham slice. Oh, sorry, turkey and pepperoni slices. Sorry, the turkey being leadful. And the, uh, what is it? And the pepperoni just being a source of the lead. 
Why do I feel the Oreo would have way too much lead in it? <laughs> Welcome, good vibe goblin. Thank you for joining us. You're right. Whatever had the Oreo one, which one was it? No, it's not in here. None of these had Oreos. Oh, this one does. This one does. The Oreo is the most misleading of them all. Imagine, dude. All right. And below all these buttons, chat. Hope you all are doing well today. Welcome, crayons. We're talking about which one has the most lead in it. Pepperoni wins. All right. Pepperoni wins in the S tier. Possibly being the most full of lead. You call it chemicals. The PR department calls it extra spice. They call it natural flavors. Am I right, gamers? I mean, when your meat comes from a damn factory, there's always a bad sign, Aldi. That is true, but we'll think about it in the way of history. Of things that have killed people in the past. Most of it was tomatoes. Uh, the factories that make these feed the children workers, but they make excess self-form efficiency. <laughs> oh my god, that's so terrible. I love it. Alright, so which one would have more? Turkey and American or ham and American? I would put these in the same ones. I wouldn't, like, make them fight. It's like tomato tomato. Heh. <laughs> Avi, did you include the candy pizza lunchables in the list? Uh, I didn't make this. This one right here. Wait, what do you mean candy pizza? Like actually made of candies? That is god forsaken. The only natural flavors God intended to be in my meat is rat. <laughs> Ew, I don't know if I'd want to eat rats after where they go to. No amount of Flintstones gummies can clear the amount of minerals these Lunchables put in your systems. That is true. Um, my... Oh, oh, scary. My mom, my mom, my sister, my sister, my aunt, my mom's sister, actually did have Flint Flintstone gummies, but they had the, um, but they had the uh, child safety lid where you can't open it unless you're like, oh, older than like eight years old with the strength of an adult. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you for coming in here. Uh, I see you, Kodachi. Welcome. Genealogy is hot! It, it, I had a brain fart for a minute. All right, turkey and cheddar. Oh my god, there's a cheddar. Oh, ah, yeah, they're tomato, tomato, really. She really went through 80% of her family to find that one. <laughs> it, it took me a fat minute. All right, so, one more time. A battle between the chicken dunks and the salsa. Eh, I wouldn't say these ones have the most lead, actually. I would put this at C tier, maybe even D tier. Because they're just chips. Like, you can easily make processed chips. It's, it wouldn't be that hard. Do you still make Flintstones gummies? No, not... I didn't... I don't think my uh, auntie has them right now. But she did when I was a kid. So before my cousins were born, which would be a fat minute ago. Probably 10 years ago. How old am I? Yeah, yeah. A little bit less than that. I remember uh, being in her room and she had the TV, like the TV, the squared ones. And that was the first time I saw uh, Sonic in a progressive commercial. And I was like, oh my god, Sonic real! <laughs> Someone look up the date of when that commercial was released because it was that time that I remember also seeing Flintstone gummy worms. Uh, gummy bears, sorry. What's a tier list for? Lead content? Yes, it is. Yes, it is, Otto Xander. You're on the nose about it. God forbid someone actually thinks I think the pizza thing is tier is uh, S tier. Um. <laughs> Once my brain gained enough wrinkles to remove the childproof cap, I obtained the grace and protection of Flintstone gummies forever. I agree, Wee Wee. It is a rite of passage to uh un unre. How do I ca call it? To remove the child-proof cap. It is- it is your destiny. It is, um... When you turn from a child, from a boy, to a man. Avi might be a bit silly. We're almost done. Uh, I've never tried these weird silver things. But they kind of look really ugly. I don't know if you can see, but the crust here actually looks like a crust compared to the sad plate. I don't know if I even want to inclu include them. The lead is in the juice. Chat, is this real? Unfortunately, they all have juice. Oh my god. Oh, this is Capri Sun. It's just not one of the roar water. What is that? Oh, they all have Capri Sun in them. Hmm, I didn't know that. I forgot about that. All right, chat. This has been... The Avi Science... What the... Why did my background move? I thought I... I thought I destroyed you!
I did it. I did it. I did it. We're free. We're free. Okay, there you go. There you go. <laughs> you didn't see anything. Anyway, chat, this has been the uh, science corner. <laughs> and people say you don't learn anything from a VTuber stream. In my right chat, you guys, your guys' brain just got 10 times smarter thinking about uh, lead poisoning. So anyways, chat, um, I will say though. Um, shit, I forgot. <laughs> shit, I just forgot. I just forgot what I was going to say. I didn't learn anything. That is fair. Understandable. What do you mean? This is very educational. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Um, so in any case, Chad, I'm going to have to say that a lot of the articles I read um, said that, I guess, in comparison to an adult. How do I say this? The lead found in most of these Lunchables are very bad for a child, uh, which means we are safe. <laughs> Think about it. You're tall. You're so full of meat and bones. Way more than a child. Not counting the ones they have hidden inside their gums. Um. <laughs> so what I'm saying is, um. I mean, I don't know if they... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a lot of these is definitely a health warning to actual children in elementary school age. Um. So... We will probably be able to handle the lead if you guys decide to have these as a depression meal. If you guys did, um, at least this year or last year. Um, so we'll be safe if you eat these. Uh, unless you eat these like an insubordinate amount of them. Is that the word? Insubordinate? Uploads. Uploaded. Too late for lead. Too oh my god. Too late for lead. Too early for microplastics. Just in time for tasting awful on its own merit. <laughs> I love that auto sandy. Thank you so much for the lurk, Asuka. We're going to live to 69. Yay! I'm so happy for you, Nick. And for everyone else. Honestly, my uh, lifespan might be about 70. But with the way I'm eating food. Oh god, it might be even less than that. Did anyone else feel their trust in Avi vanishing the second she said, So we'll be safe? <laughs> I mean, you're not like a, a three foot eleven, uh, one twenty pound. No, that's too bit. Wait, how tall are children? Like they're like four feet, right? You're not a four foot, one twenty pound, gross booger eating, butt scratching, uh, crayon eating child that can just hold so much lead in them because uh, children can consume things in their in their body like way faster or something uh something about how like they consume a lot i don't know i don't know what the technical term of it is one lunchable equals negative one day for the lifespan <laughs> i like that it's um someone's gonna get the fucking shinigami eyes always i never had trust to be oh my god led to asbestos to microplastics each generation has their own i know isn't it great we keep cursing each other with the um, human inventions that just become so toxic to us that we learn way too late. Don't forget about radium, too. Once they discovered that shit, they were like, dude, I want to make this shit glow. I'm actually curious how uh, glow-in-the-dark things work right now. And uh, what happens if you open something with it? <laughs> 120 pounds for a 3-5 to five year old is too big, but probably accurate for an American. Yeah, in America, they're usually tubby, but I don't know what the what the normal amount of pounds is for an American and a uh, child anyways. I'm not a pediatric. I'm not a pediatric. I don't even want to know how much I weigh. Uh, but if you're just like me and you don't eat Lunchables, you might be thinking, oh my God, but I am so safe though. Thank God I'm not an idiot like these parents feeding their child these garbage food. But might I ask you Americans to think about yourself for one second. Boom. Boom. Highly processed foods like cookies and chips are addictive, much like tobaccos, researchers argue. That's a little too far to write. There you go. There you go. Chat? Chat, we have to give up our vices now. Chat, tell me where your sins lie in. Choose the one thing that you will say are, that you're addicted to the most. Which is your vice? What is your vice? Okay, is it chips? 
Is it soda? Is it candy? <laughs> or is it a... Uh... I guess ice cream can count, huh? Is ice cream really bad? Tomboys, that's not an eatable food. VTubers, that's not food. Uh, <laughs> what's another processed food? Could I put cookies on the list? Uh, what's another thing? Oh, let's just put smoking in it. It's something smoking. Let's put drugs. Let's put drugs. I'll put drugs because I don't know whether I'm gonna get bonked for it. Alright, chat. What is your advice? It's okay, you can tell me your sins. Hehe, <laughs> that's what you think. <laughs> anyway, so what's your like your strongest vice that has a death grip on you? For me, I can barely choose one. Oh my god, two people voted drugs. <laughs> I I didn't know I had some smonkers in the chat today. Uh chips, soda, um candy, and drugs. Okay, I guess for variety's sake, I guess I would put in candy. Actually, no, I'd put chips. It's okay, chat. We can talk about this. My vice is tomboys. <laughs> you can't eat those. You can't purchase them in a gro in a store. Not yet, at least. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a gross sentence to say. Um, and you're not getting any, no matter how badly you want them. We're talking about consumable. Uh, high processed food. Oh, you know what? I should have done takeout. I should have done like a uh, fast food. Shit. Oh well, we'll do it next time. Uh, big. I'm gonna kill you guys. Um, food vice? Hmm, chips probably. Huh? Yeah, me too, dude. What did I vote it on? I forgot. <laughs> no one chose candy. All right, so you guys are actually normal. I'm gonna go hydrate. Sorry, Zephyr, I didn't hydrate yet. Do they got concentrated flavored lunchables on there? <laughs> Oh, concrete flavor, my bad. God, imagine buying concrete in a Lunchable bag with like Capri Sun and like some candy on the side. <laughs> Unfortunately, we will be starting a uh, ads in about three minutes four minutes ahead of time i apologize to the not subscribers in my channel um but we're gonna start the discussion afterwards uh in the meantime i'll try to do some stretches beforehand uh in the meantime so that you guys don't miss out on anything we talk about okay so for those of you uh non-subscribers that have fomo don't worry about it we will wait here for you i'll try to keep the results up at least in a screenshot maybe maybe how do I make the poll not go away? Well, I guess I'll just take a screenshot. <laughs> Sorry. Stretch those yapper muscles. Yeah, I need to stretch my uh, arm muscle and my leg muscle. Because God knows when I yap, I sit so badly. I'll take a screenshot of it. They can still see the chat in the ad prison. They can. So, so if we talk about anything... That I said I wouldn't talk about in the ad break, they will know. I can pop out the chat and mute the ad. <gasps> based, 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 KJ. Alright, the poll will end in two seconds. Okay, okay, interesting results. Interesting results from the chat. Blue Paws, thank you so much for uh, the gift of stuff to KJ. Thank you, I appreciate that so much, dude. I appreciate you. Uh, we're gonna start ads in about two minutes and 30 seconds. Um, so hold on tight. Uh, yes. I'll paste the results in subscriber general, or rather streamer general discussion now that I'm thinking about it. And do that. <gasps> Not you! Thank you, you don't got it, buddy. I appreciate that a lot. Oh, oh, that is 10. Oh, that is 10. Oh, that is 10 gift itself. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Nayu. I appreciate you. I can't scream that badly today. Just know in my heart, I'm saying, let's fucking go! Utter bad lad, Nayu. I appreciate that a lot. Mad lad, Nayu. <laughs> You're such a mad lad. All of you, all of you gifters are not mad lads in my heart. Thank you, Blue Paws and Nayu, for the gifted sub and preventing the grubs from seeing the ads. That's as many as one sub ten times. <laughs> It's so true. I don't know why I didn't see the number. Okay. Until later. Okay, ads are gonna start in uh 
one minute and 20 seconds so in the meantime make sure you guys all stretch your bones uh before we, the ads take us all over in three minutes for three minutes at least i'm gonna go hydrate real fast I was gonna gargle. Avi, how grubby are you? What the hell does grubby mean as an adjective? One minute ad warning. Be prepared. Three minutes of torture are coming. I might run them more frequently just so we don't have three minutes of ads. Maybe like 30 sec seconds every 30 minutes. We'll try to see how much it'll let me. See you guys in three minutes. We will hold on to all conversations until then. But I'll have you know, I hope we can discuss this further. It was this time he sold 40 cakes. He sold 40 cakes, guys! That's as many as four tons, and that's terrible! <laughs> Thank you, Rogue, for informing us about this. Not three minutes of Kevin Hunt! I know! Tragic! See you non-subscribers in about three minutes! Well, quit the yapping bone until then. For now, guys, let's stretch our legs, you slouching, sleazy gamers. To be dirty, grimy, ew! I guess I am pretty grubby then, if I have to be honest. I haven't done my laundry yet. And it's been a while. I'm like at the last pair of pants. Alright, ads will start soon right now! Get you! <laughs> Alright, hold on, the ads will start soon. The ads will start soon. The ad maybe if we're lucky, no one gets any ads. Ads will start soon. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Maybe. Maybe this time they'll be skipped. Ads? 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 Where are the ads? <gasps> there you go. All right. All right, they're coming. There you go, chat. Basils took the monetization away. God, I wish. Now they're here. Let's go stretch our bones. Ooh. Stretch your shoulder. Ugh. Stretch your legs. Wow, you can't say that as soon as the non-subject. <laughs> well, only the one shoulder. Yeah, the important one. I looked up surgeries that you get. No. Did anyone else saw on Twitter the surgery people get to fix their scoliosis? Let me tell you, chat. You can develop scoliosis. Ugh. Either like frontwards or it becomes an S in your back. So ever since I was young, I got really scared of anyone taking a picture of my back. Because I'm scared that one day I'm going to wake up and it'll be curved a little to the left. And I wouldn't be able to tell because it is a slow thing that happens over time. The middle shoulder is the most important one. I developed scoliosis from the silent, silent tilt to the same scale. <laughs> the flashing lights made my back curve a little funny. Ugh. Sorry, Avi. But the ad showed me the beauty of the military industrial complex. Don't tell me they got the Misaka, 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 Misaka cosplayer on, on the ads now. Damn, Avi. Oh, thank you for the gift of some two hater of bugs. Ads are one minute over. <laughs> Who else got the Peppa Pig ad? <laughs> I'm gonna stop yapping. Hmm.
Sorry, I'm cracking my, uh... My right shoulder. I don't know if you guys can hear us. Can you give us some ads, too? Ha 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 ha! You're lucky I can't fake laugh on command. <laughs> Otherwise, you'd be so embarrassed. Alright. Alright, chat. Ah! <sighs> One more exercise. I can't. <laughs> I like that emote so much. All right, gamers. So, what were we talking about before we went away from each other from the ads? Welcome back, chat. Welcome the non-subscribers. We still love you. Just we just love the subscribers a little bit more. <laughs> that was a joke. Joe Biden soda. So, it seems that the most popular of vices to amongst my viewers is uh soda. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Dang it, I don't have it! Or, or rather, it's an audio form. I don't know why I thought it was like a picture. Let's see this one. Oh my god, this is such an ugly image. <laughs> oh my god, I'm high on heroin and have a gun in my backpack. I've seen so many variations of that. Uh, okay, so! Out of the entire poll, uh, my viewers are addicted to soda! <laughs> this image is dog shit. If you know the audio, good job. I love that audio so much. Soda! Um... I'm, uh, my man, uh, man. When will you release your obvious soda merch? Oh, we're not gonna have soda merch chat because honestly, this is the one time I can say I am better than my, the entirety of my chat. What poll? <gasps> you missed the poll, Conal. Um, right here it says that um, my viewers that have voted in here um, have... Uh... Oh my god! You dick! <laughs> Anyways, um, let me put this poll on under me. Poll, right there, right there. Let's put you guys behind. Okay, uh, like I was saying, soda! <laughs> Actually, no, I could just put you in the corner, huh? Um, there you go. Uh, yeah, so my viewers are addicted to soda. Which, you know, I can finally feel superior a little bit to my chat. Because, uh, ever since I was a freshman in high school, I have stopped drinking soda. That's my right, chat. I'm better than you. <laughs> in this department, at least. Um, which one do you- are you guys, like, addicted to? If it's Coke, you will be banished into the, uh, shadow zone. Um, <laughs> I don't drink soda at all, and it is a good feeling to, to go with my party, and everyone's like, oh my god, would you like water on me? Because they know I would never say yes to soda if they offered. And they always got water anyways. Uh, I love Fanta. Fanta's a pretty good one. I don't like the... Actually, no. The only one I've had is the orange one. Cherry, Pepsi, ooh, okay, okay. The, if I were to drink soda again, I would say I love the vanilla, uh coke that it was the first time i tried it and it was so good why do you live life so unfulfilled listen it's already bad enough i got braces i don't want to have corroded teeth as well <laughs> she is back unfortunately welcome 26th unit did you come here from the chia uh april fool stream uh wow obvious such a square you guys are squares but at least i'm not the one that's gonna piss out kidney stones huh well how many times have you drunk water <laughs> vanilla anything is so good that is so true you know i knocked on um vanilla ice cream once because people think it's the most boring flavor but honestly um uh, vanilla fucking comes from the mountains so i think we should all be happy that we could be uh blessed with vanilla flavor on anything vanilla coke tastes like transmission fuel fluid really that's what you think of it that is an interesting description of it, but you know what? You're... You can think what you want. I'm addicted to water! Yeah, Konal's the only based one in here. Uh... I'm gonna use my kidney stones as sli Ew! A slingshot. I love that. Honestly, the most embarrassing thing to happen, um, for me would be getting a kidney stone. Um, because even though I don't drink soda, I'm still very bad at drinking water. <laughs> Especially at my work, dude. Caffeine is the worst thing uh, for me. 
and I don't drink like the espresso shots or anything, just the matcha, which already has a lot of sugar in it because we're American who don't like the natural taste of the earthy matcha. Just the sugary one combined with the vanilla powder. Already pre-combined, by the way. Um, so it's not like I can make it like the natural flavor. But enough about yapping about that. Uh, what was I going to say? Must be the inreg unregulated EU regulator sweetened. Oh, fuck. You know what? That might be it. Not you. I would love to go to Europe just to explore food. But like, I don't want restaurant food. A lot of um, this one recipe I do want to try other people make for me is shakshuka. Uh, it's not European. It's an African dish, but um, could also be found in Europe as well. Um, where people say like shakshuka isn't really a food you can serve in a restaurant. It's usually like a homemade food. I want to try homemade food. You guys can give me a little bit of poisoning. No, no sugary much match <laughs> matcha. Yeah, sugary matcha is a is a vice that I'm addicted to. I have a 32 ounce jug. I drink at work and I drink like two of those worth of water a day. Dang. Uh, I don't know how to say well. Uh, isn't it recommended the adult drink like two liters or something? That is very good. See, Alex is what I strive to be. My dad works out a lot and he actually does have those like water bottle jugs. No, like the water jug. Water jug. What do you call it? Hold on, let me show you guys. Soda! <laughs> water jug. What do you call those like clear water jugs? Small. These ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. My dad bought like these for himself because he loves working out and he loves water. Like these ones. <gasps> Thank you, too. Welcome. Oh my god, we've known each other for four months now, too. Thank you so much for joining this community. It's always a pleasure seeing you and the rest of the group. And you guys are really cool and awesome and very friendly. It was nice meeting you guys. Chuggers. <laughs> Welcome, uh, Heavenly. Hi. Um,. We're just talking about my dad. Uh, pfft, my my dad works out. It's so funny because it would be way bigger, bigger than this. Uh, like he would carry these around. Um, well, he'd leave them in his car. And <laughs> I remember being like, hey, dad, can I take a drink out of this one? And because I have fucking noodles for arms, I, I'd spill some on myself because these things were heavy. Uh, I'm not going to press this Amazon link, but... Um, and I don't know how liters and ounces work, but they're really heavy. Uh, put lead in it? I don't think lead is very, uh... Is it liquid? No, don't look it up. Put lead in water jar. Oh, you know what? Since they're kind of like a plastic thing and he leaves in the car sometimes, he does have to work. Oh, hold on. Where's my nerdy boat? Mm, father, have you... <laughs> um, Dad, have you ever thought about how much BPA may be in your uh, water jugs because you leave them in the car, Dad? <laughs> These are very unhealthy for you. Uh, <laughs> These container makes the water taste like plastic. They, uh, you're not wrong. If you leave them in the in the in the car, they do. He's getting those macro plastics. They're getting like fused in inside the bottles. Yeah, the chuggers are normally 20 liters of water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad would carry these around. He's a he's an exercising freak. I love microplastics. I <laughs> I hate that you said Legos. That was exactly what I was thinking of. I'd be munching on Legos for real. Dude, I I recently did build a Lego kit, a small one, uh of a Sonic the Hedgehog collection, because my sister gifted me one. And uh let me tell you, uh they offer a couple extra pieces of it. And, um, uh, what was going with this? <laughs> you know what? Um, I would be down to eat Legos too. That's what I was going with it. God, imagine a, a Lego spaghetti soup. A whole Lego kid? <laughs> Kids! Uh, I know I have an accent. I know my braces are terrible. I'll be unironically chews on bottle caps. No, no! I don't chew on bottle caps. Um, actually... Uh, you cannot chew on bottle caps in ice cubes because they will destroy your teeth. Uh, what do you call it? The integrity of your teeth. Ugh, the braces really came out right there. Let me hydrate real good this time. 
Fuck macro and microplastics. I just love plastic. I love gnawing into plastic school chair. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, that reminds me of those kids that would eat fucking erasers. <laughs> What's up with children and eating like a big chunk of them? What's wrong with children? I never want to be an elementary school teacher. Let me hydrate really good this time. I'm sorry, did you just call me savvy? <laughs> uh, wrong channel, nerd. Vasilavi. Savvy, eat more spicy nuggets. How dare you? <laughs> Rocking up to school and learn nothing and eat seven and a half erasers. Dude, you know what gets me so angry? When people would eat like the eraser tip of pencils and the green part of it would be so indented. It's interesting. Who the fuck is Savvy? Yeah, who is she? Masawabi, do you want to... <laughs> I said what I said, Abby. How dare you? I swear... He looks at two tanned people and think they're the same. I knew a kid who would just eat the whole pencil. What the fuck? It's so strange. I mean, I guess you can because they have a uh, wood in them. And if you just really want to like just chew on wood and like the, the what the fuck is it called? The granite in the middle. I don't think it's actually granite anymore. I think I read something about how they replaced. Hold on. Because uh, it used to be actual lead. Not like lead the bad thing. Lead is a dangerous word. Lead, what do you call it, Google? Uh, did pencils change from lead to graphic? Graphite, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, sorry, I'm becoming a nerd. <laughs> oh no. This is becoming the nerd stream, but like, slash SRS. Uh, what did we learn today? That. America is full of so many yummy, yummy, uh, delicious, not bacteria per se, delicious chemicals. Wait, someone's saying it's a Mandela effect. What? I sat next to him one time and the end of his pencil, not the writing end, looked like a beaver. <laughs> looked like a beaver got a hold of it. That is so funny. Just fucking no, 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 no. You guys, you see the little teeth bites in them. Americans love their lead. On oh, God, on oh, God. Hold on. Someone's saying... Mandela effect. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm looking at the nerd thing. I, I, I don't know anything about science and physics and and biology, but it's always interesting to read about. Do you guys fall asleep to those videos where a YouTube video is titled "This guy ate." Uh, gas station shrimp. This is what happened to his brain. Cause, cause, I like Nile Red is is also a general like channel. I I love going to sleep with those. But Chubby Emu is so funny. I I love his videos. No, you guys haven't. Okay, you guys need to check out Chubby Emu. He's very good. I love him. I I don't want to become React Andy, but uh, I recommend this channel because they have such funny titles. And he's an actual doctor and stuff. Well, I don't know if he's a doctor, but he knows- he sounds like he knows- <laughs> Is he a doctor? Yeah, he's a doctor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good, good, good. So, 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 let me show you guys this- this peak channel, by the way. Maybe don't go to sleep with them. They're actually really educational if you're awake during them. Hold on. He released bangers such as- Hold on, let me set, go to the next screen to have more, uh, space. I fucking love this dude's channel. Alright. Oh, I'm too big now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, John. I, I found him out and I got addicted to his stuff. The college student that drinks so much coffee, their kidneys melted. Yeah, th those stories are terrifying. Okay, so you've got bangers such as... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Popular. A scientist spilled two drops of organic mercury on her hand. This is what happened to her brain. A farmer removed his own skin cancer with a pocket knife. This is what happened to his brain. A boy ate 150 gummy vitamins for breakfast. This is what happened to his bones. A man drank three gallons of water in two hours. This is what ha- Oh, sorry. A mom drank uh, three gallons of water in two hours. This is what happened in to her brain. Uh, an athlete squatted 500 reps in 20 minutes. This is what happened to his kidneys. 
A student ate five-day-old pasta for lunch. This is how his liver shut down. A gamer, that's you guys, drank 12 energy drinks in 10 minutes. This is what happened to his organs. Why is there Spider-Man right there? <laughs> Um, I think he gets actual actors to like do these things out and it's so funny. The girl who ate all her dad's THC gummies. Really? That's so funny. Oh my god, I love this one. A TikToker chugged eight scoops of pre-workout supplement. This is what happened to his... Uh, his... Brain. <laughs> this is... Was it this one I watched? No, where's the sushi one? But yeah, they have really freaky thumbnails. I don't recommend watching them before you go to sleep. Yeah, a, sus a student ate suspicious leftover in his lunch. This is what happened to his limbs. Yeah, so this guy has really good like videos. I love that he has a, 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 a template and he sticks by it and it's really fun and I love it. What the fuck? There's a really good channel. I 10, 10 recommend. Uh, here you go. The link again to his channel. This is so surreal. It's really freaky though because... um. You could actually run like a bet at every single one of his videos whether the patient lived or died. And sometimes you just never, you never know what's gonna happen at the end. Uh, like some people are like, how come this guy survived from eating pesticide? But the guy who accidentally drank one too many, uh, melanin dies. Melatonin or melanin? Fuck, melat melatonin. Ah! <laughs> ah! Tells you how much of a science nerd I am. This person watched three obby streams in a row. This is what happened to his organ. <laughs> exactly, dude. It's just a funny, almost like memeable format. Uh, I think there's also one he did on April Fool's Day. Not related to this format. Oh my god, wait, he lost weight. Oh, this is what he looks like. He's very handsome. This is eight years ago, too. He only got more handsomer, like fine wine. Hold on, let's go. Um, fuck, I think there's this one he did in April Fool's Day. Medicine, shorts, the mitochondria, what the... the? Man swallowed lab chemicals to lose Oh my god, there's this one time this guy put pesticide on his genitals. And he, I think he lived or died. I think he died. And it was because he didn't want to, he got an STD from cheating on his wife. And, um, he's like, I know we will solve this. <laughs> Putting pesticide in my genitals. And then it died because he he did he died because he didn't tell anyone. I mean, everyone either lives or dies, obviously. I know, but it's so silly, like seeing which one lives and dies. I mean, unfortunately, these are all true events. Uh, but it is kind of funny to to, you know, it, it's just interesting. It's just interesting. Hold on, I think Chubby Emu. Uh oh. <laughs> Hold on, let's see my beautiful uh search results. Kill a kill, Satsuki, transformation, Northern Light, bisexual, Morpheus, <laughs> California driving lessons, California driving, seven rings in hand. I don't remember what this thing was. Uh, Santana, uh, Canadian national anthem lyrics, uh, drunken sailor, SpongeBob. What do you, what do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you, sorry, okay. Um, what do you call them? Canadian anthem. Captain Chia. Chubby, Emu, April. Fools. I love when channels that have such a niche, uh, niche, uh, fuck, has a niche thing do something really funny for April Fools. Someone, it was a some nerd channel, some science channel that, um, said a lot of biology terms for April Fools. That Sasuke transformation, sussy! I love Kill a Kill and I will not be shamed into being embarrassed by it. Connell underscore Cernich just shared 100 bits. Let's be honest, hop, I can hop, see thank where the guy is coming from. There's nothing more embarrassing <laughs> man than to go to the PP doctor. But best decides, man. That's natural selection at work. Yeah, I don't know what he thought would happen. And I think the worst part is he didn't tell the doctors what happened either. He's just like, I don't know why. He, he really unironically went to the doctor and went, why did my pee pee hurt? Shall Google the third from below. Oh? <laughs> um, Shim explodes because Avi is very much going to take us all that. What are you talking about? Oh, real question is, what do you do with the truck and Avi? Uh, I listened to the song lyric, and honestly, the song lyric would be what Chat did. What do they do? Like, draw something funny on his face? Uh, 
Santana, catch him. Yeah, we were talking about him. Um. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? Fuck. But yes, uh, that's the channel I wanted to talk about for some reason. Why did we talk about him? I don't quite remember. You tuck her in, kiss her forehead, and let her sleep. Oh my god, it's so pure. I love that answer. Hold on, no, it was, um... Who was it? It was this one YouTube channel. I say biology terms April Fools. What was it? This one channel. Big looks like a quack. Yeah, Medlife Crisis. Medlife Crisis April. The sky? Was it the sky? Fuck, I don't think <gasps> I don't think I'm gonna find it. I'm so sad. It was my favorite video. Uh Avi, how letty are your microplastics? <gasps> Oh my god, we can co combine best of both worlds, huh? I didn't think about that far. Hold on, there was this one special this guy did where he listed a lot of, like, biological terms, definition, dictionary, something like that. Gas station sushi! Would you guys? How much would you- Oh no, I don't think you could pay me to get gas station sushi. One time, though, um, there was a point in my life where I got really addicted to sushi. Uh, this was like two years ago. <laughs> um, so basically, um, I have a local sushi place that w used to be really cheap. It used to be really cheap to get sushi, not just like the hand roll, but like any special ones. Less than like $15, which if you're in the... If you're uh, in this lovely land of the West Coast, sushi can easily go for like $15 for like four rolls, which is really sad. Uh, but I got really addicted to this cheap sushi that soon I just got addicted to sushi and, uh, by extension, uh, soy sauce for a while now. Then I found out that this place near my work, uh, a terrible place, really, it should be really called a scam, uh, Whole Foods, <laughs> also sold sushi. Um, unfortunately, one day I had a really bad experience where the sushi I got was expired. At least the vegetables... But if the vegetables were expired, probably the fish was too. Luckily, I'm still alive. But let's just say that I was ready to sue Amazon for all it's worth if anything else happened to me. It might as well have been a uh, gas station sushi in my eyes. Uh, so I got gas station sushi once. I had a hurdy tummy, but I thugged it out because I'm a big boy. Aww. I'm so proud of you, Kono. And honestly, my condolences for the uh, owies. So glad you're strong about it, though. Why would you buy sushi in Amazon? <laughs> no, it's not Amazon. Amazon owns Whole Foods. And, uh... Hi, when I started this, welcome! Avi, what are you cooking? We're talking about the dangers of sushi in a... <laughs> and how I could have gotten millions of monies from Amazon if I... If anything happened to me. Let's just say that. In a heartbeat, appearance on other channels, history of medicine, heart science, medlife crisis, Popular videos. Put you in limits. If it ducks like a quack. Dang it, I wanted to find this one April Fool's thing I saw a long time ago. Uh, cooking Lunchables. God. Tummy Ick Survivor. Hell yeah, Toop. Hey, Avi, how goes your lead intake? Welcome, we were just talking about sushi now. Uh, gas station sushi. I luckily have never tried that. But Lord knows that America will probably never ever get healthy gro uh, gas station food in our lifetime. But at least maybe we will see the fall of the Lunchables Empire. And they give a few pieces. They do. It is not fair. I paid like $13 for mediocre sushi that could hurt me really badly. One day it just started to feel like I ate way too much sushi uh, at Whole Foods. And all of a sudden, um, yeah, that was fun. That was fun. Nothing more fun than, than feeling a little dizzy after enough sushi. Why are you bringing sushi from Whole... Buying sushi from Whole Foods? If you want a raw fish, just get some salmon and put it in the air fryer. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> real funny. If there's two things I can never mention around chat, it is, uh, air fried salmon and McGriddles. 
<laughs> all right hold on give me one second to find the video all right it's a fucking video i i could have sworn that it existed but i think i just uh i just made it up in my head i guess i just made it up in my head now and strings oh god no that's chia thing chia story did you guys know that when i said chia story on friday i actually said it really wrong um i won't repeat the story again but uh once oh <laughs> but i for some reason i changed the story where i made it so chia pulled the string instead of the person themselves and i think that's really funny because i had to add that the, the friend had to flash chia and show them their uh piercing and <laughs> I think that was way funnier than any joke I've told before <laughs> and everyone in chat was so confused uh made up like us not true you guys are so real because I wouldn't give myself five dollars I mean when was the last time I checked my uh credit card information <laughs> uh wait was it Chia's story or your story it's Chia's story it's Chia's uh infamous story she loves that story a little too much <laughs> it's so silly uh oh yeah yeah but it's okay we love chia chia's really great did you move your head too quickly after eating is that a thing is that a thing is that what the problem was dang it i'll never be able to find it okay guys it's not real uh wait was it chia's story or yours it's mine it was my story hold on um there's someone that made a couple compilation of every single uh presenting to the emergency room in chronological order what a base channel honestly i think my favorite thing is seeing uh super cuts of just the one thing someone does all the time what game is this welcome we're not doing games uh we're just yapping today um oh wow i already yapped for a good one half one half hour um i yapped about lunchables I asked about just food safety in America. Sushi. Uh, you shouldn't feel dizzy after eating sushi. Oh yeah, for sure. That's when I stopped. That's when I absolutely stopped. I was like, maybe I'll stop ordering for cold from Whole Foods now. Even though I, I already knew that. It's very expensive. Thank you for the posture check. Oh, yeah! <laughs> All right. All right, but yeah, go check out uh, Chubby Emu. You might see something that might hit a little too close to home, like when he has a gamer in the title. A grandpa set his clock forward one hour. This is what happened to his heart. Oh my god, that's so funny. I love that. Uh, but yeah. Oh my god, this guy used to make like weight loss story. It's kind of funny. Uh, where life takes you, honestly. It's really cool seeing a YouTuber go from one format to another format. Like, uh, do you guys know about Bobby Broccoli? Who? Yes! I gotta talk about him! Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. I really like watching YouTube. I'm a YouTube addict, chat. <laughs> man called Bobby Broccoli. You are and you are not gonna know where his channel took a turn. <laughs> so there's this channel I watch I'm watching now because uh but this isn't the videos I've seen. So as you guys can probably squint, he's made a lot of things like video games, Star Trek Online, Winnie the Pooh's Rumbly Tumbling Adventures, video games and all that, and even SpongeBob videos, right? And yeah but unfor not unfortunately um but one day in the middle of all of this content, he decided to change it up a bit for something. Hold on, wait, actually no, before that. Yeah, he even had an update, the future of Broccoli Reviews. His channel used to be called Broccoli Reviews. I never watched any of these videos, but the one that I actually had hit my homepage, twice actually. One is the forgotten controversy of the 3DS launch, which talks about like, you know, how, uh, people freaked out about it being 3d and people were like this is gonna hurt children's eyes what are you gonna do to their poor eyesight these children need to be protected so this is the one i got hit in my uh uh youtube but i didn't know until later on the one i all that i got actually hit mine my uh for you page sorry homepage is uh this one the man who tried to think an element 
Chad, I do not know anything about chemistry. This is a weird bog pill. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, it's really interesting. Um, I never got into chemistry. I tried to get into AP Chem and I dropped it out in the second semester because I got a B minus, I think. Barely holding on to a B. And then I watched this video and it explained so much. Whoa, 11 mini million views. Yes. I wasn't the only one who had this random video on a topic I've never heard about. Hit their front page. And it was amazing. I actually also saw this video too, but I didn't know those three videos I watched were made by the same channel. It's really interesting and he animated it really interesting. But yes, this is the end of my yapping session. Avi, what are you doing, my man? Dude, I'm just vibing. I'm vibing in the chat. Avi is simping. <laughs> it's, I love watching YouTube videos. Hold on, let me uh, destroy but yeah, this is Bobby Broccoli's direction now. He's doing a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, engineering, science space, physics space videos, uh, chemistry based, just anything really. Uh, he, into what he calls, uh, science scandals and controversies. Uh, really fun time. Well, I know what I'm watching tonight. Fair warning, they're like about one and a half, uh, minutes long. They're about as long as a movie, basically, but they're for a really fun time. She needs to fill in the missing gap session from Monday. Yeah, basically. React Andy arc? Oh, the React Andy arc is not coming until soon. You guys are so not ready for it. It's gonna be great. I'm also gonna remove my uh, watch history. <laughs> not because I'm embarrassed. But because... No, I'm not embarrassed. Oh god, they also showed the other one. Okay, gotcha. Um... What else was I gonna talk about? Uh, there's a third type thing I was gonna talk about too. Yes! Yes. Yes. Well, I know what I'm walking, watching tonight. It's great. It's so good. Okay, hold on. Here's another one I want to talk about. To get to, uh, maybe I will see that channel. Bobby Broccoli. Bobby Broccoli is a very cool channel. I love it. I cleaned the house with these uh, videos. 10, 10 recommend. Anyway, shut. I actually wanted to talk about something with you guys, um, but it felt a little bit late. I actually originally wanted to talk about the- Oh, hello, Kira Koopa! Welcome, welcome! Welcome, my name is Avispa! I'm Mexican Honeywells who just happened to like hexagons! Roll up with the phone with the stock! Hello, I saw that, um... It is your affiliate anniversary today! Congratulations! Um, anniversaries? <laughs> I know Twitch, like, tells you about it, uh, beforehand, but it's really cool! Hello, welcome, Kita. Welcome. Hold on, let me give you a shout out as well. Shout out to Kita Koopa. Koop. Pol. Koop. Koop. Oh, fuck. Koopa, yes, Kita Koopa. Thank you. How are you? Welcome. <laughs> I love seeing the one in your uh, exclamation cheer. It's so silly. Uh, welcome. We're doing good. We're just yapping today. Uh, last playing art. Let's fucking go. I hope you had a lot of fun in your art session. Uh, if you need to leave, if you need a dip, if, um, you need to head out early and go ahead and <laughs> love to yap. Yes, hello, welcome. If you need to go eat, sleep, anything like that, you are free to go on ahead. I totally understand. I hope you had a fun time celebrating your uh, affiliate anniversary if you did any celebration. Uh, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. For now, my name is Avispa Nekvinia. I'm a Mexican honey wasp who just so happened to like hexagons. And today we were just talking about, uh, uh, Lungibles having lead in their, uh, <laughs> in their food products now and how we might just see the end of the Lunchable, uh, empire. Personally, I think they're gonna be here to stay. I think Lunchable will come out with a lawsuit being like, well, actually, everything has lead in it. And, um, we don't actually say that we sell, uh, healthy food. <laughs> Or something crazy like that. Love to yap. Yeah, hell yeah! Ah, that explains a lot for how I ended up. Yeah, it is really funny news. Lead? Yeah, yeah, they have lead in them. Uh... There it is. Lunchables under fire after reports of concerning lead uh, sodium levels. It's a very fun time. Uh, they basically have way too much lead and sodium for an American child to be eating. Humans should be fine. I mean, like, regular adults probably have... It's probably too little of it for adults to be uh, worried about, but for children, it's very funny. It's very funny seeing this event uh, transpire. Uh, yeah, so for any non-Americans out there, count your lucky stars. Uh, the chemicals in here were probably uh, illegal to put in your country. 
uh, the child can <laughs> the child can have a little blood as a treat. Yeah, and if you guys know Lunchables, some of them do come with like cookie uh, Oreos in them. <laughs> we were theorizing uh, which Lunchable most likely has the most uh, lead in them, and we voted on the pizza one. Uh, <laughs> it was a good time. It was a good time, chat. Uh, but thank you. Thank you again for uh, choosing me to rate. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um... Oh, anyways, chat. Uh, I did hear that le lead is a bit s Ugh, sweat. I hate that typo you did. <laughs> um, oh, it's gone. Uh, <laughs> ew. Wait, is lead a bit sweet? What does lead taste like? Sorry. Uh, I need to Google something. Uh, and we also asked chat. Um, sweat? Where? Ew, disgusting. We also asked chat uh, what our strongest vice is. And it was... What the fuck is that? Screenshot? It was soda. Um, that was fun. Uh, the Romans used it as sweetener. They did? That's crazy, dude. How did they even get like? And oh, I guess it would be like kind of metal, huh? <laughs> I didn't know that. It's really interesting hearing a lot about like food history throughout the years. And oh, uh, God, God bless our uh, beautiful science, science knowledge of now. How mercury was killing people, but they thought it was just tomatoes. Uh, how... Fuck, what else? How the, the, some people just didn't wash their hands back then, but only a select few cultures knew that washing hands is good. It actually was Tomboy, but she didn't let us vote on that. <laughs> no, chat, I'm talking about con consumable things. Uh, lick, not kick. Damn you, autocorrect, dude. Autocorrect is kicking the raider's ass today. No one is able to t type anything right, and it's kind of funny. Uh, as someone who used to click random metal objects as a child, most metals are sweet. Huh. Uh, Perito, have you ever licked a, a Nintendo Switch cartridge? I heard those are really, really bad to lick. Uh, and there's probably a scientific reason for them. Uh, but also, who's who's gonna be the one to discover that? Yes, and... <laughs> terrible, terrible answers. So interesting fact, in the early 1900s, they used lead paint and kids would lick the walls of houses. That is so funny. Uh, I guess lead is pretty tasty then. You know what? I believe that. Did they have a good odor though? Iron is kind of sweet, but can be a little bit bland. Huh? Kona, do you need to do like a... <laughs> a metal... A metal taste A metal t test? What do you call it? A metal lick? Tear stream. There you go. Tear list. Lead was used in makeup as well. Lead was used in so many things, such as and radium as well. That was a fun time. DSI XL cards. No switch ones yet. Huh. <laughs> I like that you remembered that. I don't think I've heard of the DSI XL. Oh, DSXL. I used to have the red one, and then I lost it in elementary school because um, I showed it off, and then I got robbed. Uh. <laughs> Someone stole it from my bag, and I never saw my beautiful angel baby again. <laughs> Fun times. Elementary school was very, very uh, difficult. I hope the rest of the streams goes well, but... S swipe. No worries. Damn, bro. Dude, I know. Children are so cruel, evil, heartless, and can only think about themselves. And, and you know what? I'm not free from this either. When I was a kid, I would see a lead pencil fall from the ground, and I'd be like, Oh, sweet! A thing I've never seen in my life before. Not a thing I've never seen. A thing that is slightly more expensive and better quality than a regular pencil. I'm gonna steal it! And I did. I would uh, regularly steal lead pencils. And I think there was one time a, a, a student like confronted me being like, Hey, that's my lead pencil. And I was like, uh, uh, no, uh. But I gave it to her anyways because I was so scared. <laughs> Don't tell me you guys didn't steal anything either. You guys are all so rotten kids. Them elementary school speed running them pockets. Yeah, it was cruel getting my DS stolen, but I got what I deserved, honestly, for showing it off. I got the taste of iron by tasting my own blood. One time I... Yeah, I did have some couple of runny noses full of uh, bloody runny noses. For some reason, a lot more as a kid. I still don't know what caused them. We may have to leave soon. We may have found a ceremonial. Let's fucking go! Well, uh, have a good day, E-Man. Actually.
actually, now that I think about it, I looked so many different DS cards. From the original to the 3DS, I could probably tell which one by taste alone. That is interesting. I think someone did actually uh, research a little bit into why they taste different or good and all that stuff. But Avi, stealing is bad! I mean, I know it's bad, but I still did it because of the thrill. I mean, because it's a lead pencil and uh, I thought to myself, if they can afford to lose it, then they can afford to buy another one. Um, I had never stolen anything in my life except your heart. Oh, that is so funny. You don't need to lie about that, Nick. You probably stole something. Uh, she's a menace. I am a menace. Dry sinuses from picking your nose, probably. That's interesting. Uh, I remember one time my nose just started bleeding um, when I was doing my job as an adult. I think this was like last year. Uh, uh, my, my sister worked in the same job as me. So luckily when I felt like... I, at first I thought it was like snot falling into my mouth because, you know, it was kind of the sickly season. Which is also probably why I had a dry sinus. Um, I was like, oh, there's snot falling into my mouth. I'm gonna go lick it off. I, I tasted a little bit of it and I was like, wait a minute. This is too salty to be just regular uh, mucus. Or rather, it's too irony. So I told my sister to take over my uh, cash register as I headed to the bathroom. And I pulled down my mask because it was a pandemic times. And I saw my mouth full of blood. It was kind of funny. I just kind of like sloshed my mouth with the uh, with sink water. Uh, I just tried my best to clean it off. Wait for it to cool down. And then I headed off back to work and it didn't happen again. But luckily I caught it in time because imagine being the customer on the other side where your your uh, cashier is trying to ring up your whole order of clothes and all of a sudden you just see red blood dripping down <laughs> into the clothes that you bought. I had to bag them too. And they were like right next to me. So, oh God, that would have been funny. Just having the blood drip to the bag, the white bag into red. Jesus Christ, thank God I caught it. She stole Chad's organs during Valentine's. That is true. Metals age like one, if you ask me. And remember, while stealing may be bad, just steal from companies who are worse, the morality cancels out. You're so right, but I'm not gonna say that for legal reasons. Uh, I mean, it is her own blood, so no biggie. Oh yeah, for sure. But it is a funny experience. Yeah, no, I can't really think of anything. Really? You never stole, like, a candy? You never had, like, siblings that you took a bite of food from? <laughs> uh, we know what nosebleeds mean in anime. How hot was the customer, Avi? <laughs> now that you mention it, I don't think I remember what the, uh, customer looked like. Uh, Jesus Christ, no, I didn't because, uh... <laughs> if there's anything about me that you need to know about is that, uh... I am really bad at making eye contact with customers, so, uh... In my current job, I work at a mall, so I feel like there's a lot of regulars there. Uh, like a lot of regulars, not just regulars, employees as well. Um, yeah, yeah, employees as well and regulars. Uh, so I kind of had to remember them more. But in my old job, uh, it was just customers. Employees would only, uh, order out stuff if it was like when they come in on their day off, which is almost never, because a lot of people work there like, many times a day despite being part-time jobs uh and uh when there's a 20 percent special which never happened except like once every three months or something she's a mall girl i'm not a mall girl i just work in the mall nope i was a goody two shoes oh that's so nice of you i remember in high school there was a class like in a like a extracurricular class uh what do you call them a class that uh, wasn't really important, insignificant enough uh, that one time my uh, classmate uh, cheated on a test and I witnessed it too. But it was kind of like easy to cheat because it wasn't like it had a, a special test uh, pro pro proctor thing. Uh, you could just press another tab. But I didn't say anything. But why was I looking at their computer? Don't worry about it. <laughs> My eyes just kind of dazed and looked in the left and I was like, oh, this person's cheating. That's awful. <laughs> and I asked him about it afterwards. I was like, hey, you, you, I saw what you did in the computer. Um, but why, why would you do that? And they're just like, you know, I just need a passing grade. And, oh my God, they kind of radicalized me. They were like, listen, I just need a passing grade in this class. 
If I didn't get caught, that's good. I can get away with it. I can get a good grade. I can focus on the rest of the class. Listen, man, I got AP biology. Get off me. <laughs> Listen, man, I'm struggling enough in high school. Let me have this one thing. I stole several hundred dollars worth of food while I was in elementary. Let's fucking go! Does anyone else want to uh, admit any crime to the stream that is being recorded? I put things back in the place from the where they belong. Actually, funny that we're talking about stealing. I did accidentally steal from Target once. And I felt terrible about it. <laughs> she slapped and I got away with it. And I got away with it. That's the important part of the story. She slacked on the girl's successor class. That checks out. No, this was a boy. This was a boy that cheated that I saw on their other computer screens. Why was I looking at their other computer screens? Don't worry about it. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. <laughs> I wish I cheated more in high school. In the, poor, in the classes that I didn't care about. I wish I, like, wrote a little note in my hand about a formula or whatever. How you do that? Oh my god, honestly, it was really funny because a week before I accidentally robbed Target, um, my mom and I went there for one thing. I think I needed to return something, and Target in my area are so far away because uh, I live in a sucky neighborhood. <laughs> and they're only in the uh, nicer part of town. So, um, when we were driving there, we passed by someone with police cars surrounding them in the parking lot because apparently they were trying to rob targets, which if you try to do that now, they will, they will gag you. You cannot get away with that. Um, they have cameras, they have like, uh, what do you call them? They have under, underground, what do you call them? Undercover cops? They have, yeah, cameras, undercover cops. They have ways that they, um, employees have to check when you, uh, do self-checkout. Um, just the whole shebang. It's freaky. You cannot get away with it. And they got away with it until the parking, uh, lot. And even then, they got caught. So, GPS, most likely. They probably have a GPS in every single cart. I've always made sure I robbed stores that didn't have the machines at the doors or they were broken. <laughs> oh, they also did have the machines at the door. You're right. Dude, that is such a smart strat. Though my klepto days only lasted for my whole childhood. Really? Wait, I don't know if you're slash SRS or slash J, but I'll believe you, NCD. You are in Florida after all. Uh, I stole so much shit as a kid. There is too much to even get into. Jesus. Were you ever with your parent around or like you did them on your own? Oh god, I might get like a, a trouble pass if I answer too much, if I ask too much questions. I went 36 miles per hour when the speed limit was 35. Lock me up. Nick is such a good boy. Um, but when I stole from Target, it was because I brought my own tote bag. Uh, <laughs> and if you've never went to Target before, in the front of every single one, they have like a dollar section where you can search for trinkets for one dollar. I don't remember what the trinket I stole was, but it was a very small piece. Like, I don't think it even had a, a wrapping on it. I think it just had it by itself on the outside with like a tag on it, like a little sticker tag or something. Uh, I put it in my tote bag. It's really small. I don't remember what it was. Probably like one of those uh, phone charger protectors. But it was really insignificant. And this was in the middle of me buying clothes, buying pants, buying uh, some new charger or, or some new phone case. Yeah, it was a phone case. And I remember like at the end of it, I took out some things from the self-checkout cart. And then I walked out of there and I was a criminal for stealing target of $1 item. And I felt bad. And I returned it because it was garbage anyways. I didn't need it. <laughs> so glad like i i could have stolen it but but i didn't feel safe i didn't know whether target was gonna get me whether they were tracking my location as i spoke <laughs> terrifying target slash walmart has more cameras than an airport oh <gasps> you're right you're so right dude they have so much like hardcore stuff in target i've never been to walmart but i can imagine it probably being similar but target was so serious and for what even disassembled and stole a rolling cabinet. <gasps> I never... I, for us, our um, sh shopping carts had like a limit to where how far you can take them in the parking lot. Other than that, uh, it won't permit you past like a yellow line or something. Uh, because I don't know why. 
even disassembled and still- oh, I already read this. Oh, I sped all the fucking- BAD! BAD! Speeding is bad! 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 Lock this man! My parents were never around, that's why- yeah, I figured that's why he stole shit. Because I remember uh, my little sister stole a candy and she got yelled at so badly by mummy, who is such a nice angel. And I was like, oh my god. Well, you kind of have to yell it out of your child the first time because it is a serious crime. I mean, when you're a kid, you think you can get away with a couple things. But when you get like intense yelling at from a nice and uh, nice and friendly mother, you know that shit's serious. And oh uh, yeah. Imagine almost being robbed, and while the police take away the criminal, the next customer goes up and says, Haha, this was crazy! Anyways, now put all the money in my bag. <laughs> That'd be so funny if, like, the real criminal was the one in the register. Stop right there, criminal scum. I know I stole $1 from Target. 80% of Walmart camps are hollow. I should know. I own three. <gasps> oh my god, that's so funny. Honestly, um... Some cameras are just empty. I know in my store, in my uh, mall, there's a camera behind the counter to keep track of what the, the workers are doing, but everyone knows it doesn't work because we could clearly see it being unplugged. We could see the uh, out, not the outlet, the plug <laughs> not being connected to anything. So we're like, so why is this here again? And it's like near the uh, outlet where the blender is. <laughs> My mom realizing I stole candy and shrugged after we left the store. That is funny. That is so funny. I love that. She's like, well, if we go back for it, we'll get in more trouble than if we could just keep walking away. Walmart has big shoppers all around and have hidden cameras on the left checkout. That is so funny. I need to go to a Walmart one of these days. I really do. I'm going to Google Walmart. I don't think the ones in my area have the uh, Florida specials. The Florida special, but you know what? It might. Oh, it has a product section. That's huh. I guess Target has a product section too. So what is it too crazy? I've been inside of Staples. I've been inside of Target. I've been. I haven't gone to Joann's. Uh, people said Joann's is shutting down, and that also the owner isn't very nice either. I go to Michaels instead. Wipes away a tear. Take up so fast. The high-hanging ones are real cams, but the low-hanging ones that are, like, in arm's reach tend to be empty. I don't think I've seen cameras in arm's reach. That's interesting. What is this What's cooking? We're talking about, uh, stealing and crime. Not Joann's! Yeah, I've never been in Joann's. I am not a crafty girl. I wish I was. Dude. I, I, uh... I have a sibling that is actually very crafty, very artsy. More than me and my sister combined, my oldest sister combined. We used to be artists, but we went into working class. And ever since then, our dreams of becoming an artist died once we realized the economy. <laughs> but my younger sibling, uh, who is also like past the age of 18, uh, still is very creative. I lost it, but I love drawing though. Drawing is the only thing I have. I love Michael's, but it's gotten pricey the last few years. Oh yeah, for sure. I don't leave- I don't go there unless I have like a $5 coupon. I am a coupon lover in Michael's. Walmart is in my country for a long time, but with other names, the name is lighter and I saw a lot of open cookies packaged in other foods. <laughs> Ew, I'm so sorry. I hate when customers open things. It's disgusting and improper. In my old job uh, at retail, that happened a lot where there was like opened uh, makeup packages especially. Oh my god. We we sell things secondhand. It's so funny. So if we're listing our crimes, is murder okay? And um. um, actually, I am a mandated reporter. <laughs> Today the hive is showing its, showing its true colors. Listen. These are just crimes you did when you were a kid. It's okay. That, 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 uh, that put low-hanging ones... Oh, they put low-hanging ones in after they threatened to shut down stores because of all the shoplifting, which caused more people to shoplift once they found out how secure they made the stores. God, that's so funny. Um, people just love stealing. Avi, uh, when is... When and why did you add the, uh, it's getting worm channel point reward? Uh, I put it if you want jacketless Avi. And it probably showed as new because I changed it from, uh... The Chia hamster version. Which is a very fun April Fools. 
No, for real. It's okay to steal makeup. I recently spent like 300 at Sephora and it was for a tiny bag. I should have stolen it. That is so funny. Honestly, makeup... I don't wear makeup, but I know that it can get very expensive. And I honestly, as someone that is very much a, a money hoarder, I only avoid makeup because I like having money so much. Uh, we will be having an ad soon, right? Oh shit, you're right, Blue Paws. Uh, we're gonna have an ad in one minute. So for any non-subscribers, I apologize. Uh, we run three minutes of ads, so you all can join in anytime. Uh, instead of having pre-roll ads every time you come into the Avi channel. I hope you guys can... Is it gonna stay in? No, it's on. Blue Pies, thank you so much for the 50 gifted sub. Thank you, you fucking, you fucking, you, 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 you. <laughs> thank you so much for the gifted subs. I appreciate it so much, dude. Thank you. Um, Blue Pies, you're the strongest supporter and you're scary. You're terrifying. Remember, everyone, makeup is needed. You're all beautiful in your own way. Let's fucking go. Let me see the ads. No. <laughs> Thank you, Blue Paws, for the 50 gifted subs. I, I know you've been really busy yesterday with... I mean, yesterday. Uh, last month with your whole work trip. So, so I appreciate it. You don't need to do any of this. I would match with Blue, but the government took my money. Yes, if you guys need a save uh, because of American taxes, that is fine. Blue Paws, thank you so much for being a based European viewer. We're going to start the ads very soon. I'll watch the ads for all of you. <laughs> thank you, Farido. Make sure you tell us about the ads uh, that come in. Oh, never mind then. You're saved. <laughs> Blue Paws said, I can fix you. Thank you for the tier one subscription to Charlotte Parito. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Sephora took all my money. Avi, lo siento. It's okay. If you're a makeup girly, I, I love you for that. You're so strong. You have to get through the, the learning adolescence phase into the beautiful, beautiful makeup person that you are. You're so strong. You got launchable ads? That's so funny. <laughs> I don't believe you. Take a picture. Take a picture. Take a picture. Before the 30 seconds goes away. Take a picture. I hate ads so much. I will pay not to watch ads. That's why I have turbo. That's kind of based, honestly. Um. Damn, now I'm obligated to return. Welcome, Burrito. Thank you so much for coming in and staying throughout. You two, Kane's Lupus. I appreciate you two for coming in from raids. Honestly, uh, the dangerous part of raids for me is that I love finding streamers that have similar energy. And it is dangerous because I could be like, Hmm, I think I'm gonna go to the bathroom after I see this raid for a little bit. Put in the raid message and then dip. And then I end up having a fun time and being like, Wait a minute, it's already 6pm. What we need to do for a hype train? Oh god, a hype train is gonna include a lot of things. I think like, uh, the problem with hype trains is like, I think four people need to start one. And then, like, the uh, more people need to continue it. It's more like the quantity, quality of how many different people are doing it, rather than the quantity of how much gifted subs, unfortunately. But thank you, Blue Pots, again. Yeah, it's three or more. Yeah. Three people need to do their own uh, tossing of the, uh, the, the things, which isn't too bad. I, I, I am so grateful that the three minute uh, ad run uh, makes most people watch this channel for free, besides uh, ads. Let's go stretch. Ugh. Look, it's La Waspa. La Waspa. Welcome, Zafter. Thank you so much for joining. Right now, uh, people are stuck behind ads, so we're going to stretch our bones. Make sure you guys do your stretches, okay? Because if you don't, you'll end up like your grandma. Sorry, I shouldn't say that. That's, that's a wonderful portion right there. You'll end up like a shrimp. Ah! Hi, Zepter. Welcome, Zepter. I mean, not sounding very flexible there. 21 year old grandma. Dude, I got made fun of at my work because uh, I I crouched down and then when I crouched up, I, I went, I did the dad thing where you go when you go up. And they're just like, jeez, oh, Avi, you're only 21. Calm down there. 
Thank you, Ezerion, for the hydrate. I need to stop yapping. 21 going on 54. In my way, ladies. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Perito, for joining us. Uh, I hope you have a good rest of your day. Seriously, though, thank you. Have a good day! Uh -huh. I need to get lip chapsticks. Isn't chapstick like a weird form of placebo? No, it's real. My my lips are very uh peely today. Ugh. I need to get chap lips chapsticks. Change weather. Welcome back to the non-subscribers. Welcome back to everyone else. Sorry, you don't get anything special if you are a subscriber, except for three minutes of silent Avi. Yap sticks. <laughs> oh, I love that. Uh, Bert's Bees has tinted lip shimmer. That is amazing. Also, bees. That is true. I haven't seen, I haven't tried uh, Bert Bees. <laughs> I probably have them on like a local drugstore or something. <laughs> Those three minutes are worth it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gassy today. It's the uh, McDonald's. McDonald's? No, that was Monday or Tuesday. Um. Anyway, chat. I had a dream today. I had a dream today that made me really sad. Have you ever had a dream that made you so happy? Not like a depressing dream, but like a happy, a happy one. Um, and then you woke up and you're like, oh, it's not real, but it could be one of those things. Well, you know that I have a sibling that is a neat, right? They don't have a job. They're not going to school right now. And they graduated high school like almost two years ago. So I had a sick and twisted dream chat. I had a dream that haunted me last night. I had a dream. I had a dream that my sibling told me last night to turn off the lights early because we sleep in the same room because they have a job tomorrow and I was so happy <laughs> they were like they were like oh you're going to sleep early I go to job tomorrow I was like oh my god I'm so happy for you and then I woke up this morning and I was like oh my god I turned around um uh, turned around I looked down from my loft bed and I saw that no one was in uh my sibling's bed and I was like, oh my god, they went to work! I'm so excited to see them in about maybe eight hours. They got a morning job, that means their, their sleep schedule will be fixed. And then I head to the kitchen, I was like, oh. <laughs> oh that was so funny. I hope my sibling gets a job. I Avi, mean, bro, my dreams are straight up evil. <laughs> Dude, that sucks when you have sad dreams. I, would, I used to get dreams about the zombie apocalypse and those always make me cry. I think every time I stretch, my joints sound like a rusty robot. <laughs> e -e -e. You need some WD-40 on that, on those joints. Dream talk. I love dreams talk. I can only remember a few dream talk, but those dreams are so funny because I genuinely woke up thinking my sibling got a job. <laughs> and I woke up, saw them in the kitchen, and I'm like, oh, you're still here. Go do indeed. Ooh, I had a great nightmare. Got you. What is it? What is it? Uh, this is a wonderful dream. It was a wonderful dream, but it was only a dream. I, I have to, I, uh... Did you know that they've been looking for a job for a while? Uh, last year, January was... Was it last year? No. Uh, they, they said that they would get a job so that they can go to the Five Nights at Freddy movies. So they can go to the... A concert that already passed. And, and so they could buy my little sister a Halloween costume. And, uh... They still don't have a job. Let's be honest, if there was a zombie apocalypse, Avi is as dead as a sack of potatoes. <laughs> no, you're right, you're right. I would die. I would die, but you know what? I think that would be m way more freeing than being in the land of the living, along with the land of the living dead. As a former neat, it is possible. Rip me ages 20 to 23, dude. Honestly, being the neat like that, ugh. It is... it is an experience. My dreams are wild. Movie actors, crazy stuff, creatures, you name it. You know what? I never got 
uh, sleep paralysis. My sister did, but I never got it. And I'm so happy for that because the first time that happened to my sister, I was around 11 years old. Leia, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome. Fox fires have come to light the way. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming in here and raiding to my lovely just chatting yapping stream. Uh, Fox fires have come to light the way. Welcome. Can I get a shout out? Uh, I hope zombie paws bites all his haters. <laughs> I love that response. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But, 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 but I lost the message. I would, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, but thank you, Liz. Okay, let me give you a shout out. Shout out to you guys. What are you guys doing? Uh, Lance. Non, uh, Nona Cola. <laughs> we were just talking about how my chat is horribly addicted to soda. So I think you're last part of your name is very fitting. Uh, personally, I'm more of a water person. That's a lie. I love hugo juice and I love coffee. <laughs> I love matcha. The sugared matcha. I'm addicted to it. I apologize. Waiters, thank you so much. <gasps> thank you so much for the 100 bits, Mara. Sleepy time, Mara just shared 100 bits. I've gotten sleep paralysis. No! And that was scarier than any Benadryl hat man at the foot of my bed. No, I'm so sorry for that. Yeah, I've heard about the no breathing, uh, the, the chest being heavy kind of sleep paralysis. My sister had a dream, uh, the paralysis one time when she had a queen bed and I was just sitting on it. Uh, she just rested for that, uh, afternoon. I don't remember why. She was just sleepy. And, um, I was like next to her anyways, probably on like the tablet or something. And she had a dream that like she had that sleep paralysis and I was right there too. And she saw a monster and she couldn't call me for help. And hearing that as an 11 year old uh, psychopath, I was like, dude, just wake up. It's not real. It's just a dream. Just wake up. Stop having paralysis. Just skill it. If, if the word skill issue was a word back then, I genuinely would have used it unironically. Hi, Elvispo. Hope you're having a wonderful stream. Thank you so much for raiding in here. If you need to go hop off and eat food and and uh, sleep or, or take a shower or anything, you can go on ahead for that. Um, I totally understand. But thank you so much for taking the time to introduce your lovely community to this cute Mexican wasp. Honey wasp girl, Elvispo. Wasp, not bee. I could be pretty cool, though. No need to fear me. If I can't breathe in a dream, I lucid dream. I wait to breathe through my skin or... That is so funny. You could just activate lucid dreaming. That's crazy. I'd argue that drinking sweetened matcha is not much better than soda. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's not much better than soda, honestly. Juice is actually just as bad as the sugar cubes that soda has as well. But, but, but I don't know if I want to give up hookle. Kid Avi had a bootstrap ass mentality. I really did. I was really unempathetic to my sister's poor, poor thing. Because I also didn't know what to do as well. She also got into like horror stuff around the same time. So I was like, it's because you be on your damn phone watching too much Slenderman and thinking that Jeff the Killer is unironically hot, huh? This is on you. <laughs> <laughs> I was a kid, so I was kind of like, I don't want to look at this. I hate Smile Dog, though. Smile Dog is probably the worst one because its human teeth were freaky. I dreamed with a paralysis demon. I dreamed with the, uh, that a paralysis demon was taping the glass on my window, and I did just that. I woke, I woke up, stood up, opened that window, and bam! No demon. Yeah, you showed that guy, huh? <laughs> uh, good on you, Zepter, for seeing through that. That would freak me out. She can be pretty cool. She can be pretty cool. Thank you, Agent. You jinx it, Avi. Today you will be paralyzed, pilled. I doubt it. Paralysis hasn't gotten to me yet. Guys, guys, I'm sure y'all haven't heard of this, but there's a thing you can drink. It's called water. Yes, and I'm addicted to it. But I like sucking on my sugar cubes. <laughs> I know. I know sugar are the, is the deep. Ah, uh, fuck. Sugar is so bad. It's the worst thing in the world. But it's so tasty. Well, sucks to be you. It really did. I really was like that. Well, sugary di diabetes, non-sugary cancer for the chemicals. Oh God, choose your poison, I guess. Human, demons, and monsters ripping into one another's flesh, devouring each other. Let's go! My mom would stretch out juice by making agua frescas. Oh my God. Agua frescas was really fun to have as a child. 
I remember we also had an orange juice maker. That was a really fun time. We still have it in our garage, but I don't remember when was the last time we took it out. I would love for my younger sibling to try that, but I don't know. I don't want to open the garage. My Lamborghini will sit there and collect dust there just fine. Man, my relationship with Creepy Pasta was so messed up as a kid. Re yeah, it's really interesting how like the Creepy Pasta to SCP pipeline. I never got to SCP. Uh, it was too much reading, and I was too stupid to get that. It was like kind of a A R A R N G A N A R G, like a like a you have to be immersed in it, kind of like the uh, R slash. What's that? One sub no sleep? <laughs> I show my nightmares who's boss. I show my nightmares who's boss. All terrified and whining, but still. <laughs> you're like, you're not in control of me. I have real things to be afraid of. Like, like, um, the society I am watch I am living in in real time. She's only gaming paralyzed on God. <laughs> I remember the one time uh, you said on stream that I was allergic to good gameplay. That was really funny. I'm a water girly now with an unfortunate weakness for cucumber. Okay, cucumber lime Gatorade is actually really good and I am with you. Cucumber juice is really good. I love it. I my little sibling is really addicted to cucumber and it's really funny because uh, as a kid, uh, as, a, as a baby child, toddler, what you call it? <laughs> As a toddler, they hated drinking water and it was really bad because we needed to make them drink water. Otherwise, uh, uh, since they were wearing a diaper, it was not going to be a good time. And I remember like we would hide in the little, uh, playhouse, uh, the one that children could fit into. And we would secretly drink water from a water bottle that I bought for them that has dinosaur in it. And we'd be like, shh. <laughs> You really have to do so much to convince children that water is good for you, as well as, like, vegetables. As I saw the sight, I felt no fear. I felt rage and anger boiling inside me. Hell yeah! Avi gives me all the stickers because she's so sweet. That comment gave me diabetes! <laughs> hey, anyone here in chat gotta worry about, uh, diabetes in the future? Not me. Just kidding, I do. My hotel does this with the OJ. The worst thing is that you can still taste the treated- Ew, not the tap water! My condolences to you, Paws. Uh... Uh, the one I have... It would actually be really good. Oh, rather... The one I had... You know, seeds... I think seeds still fall into the... Thing, if I'm correct. At least years ago. I think now they, uh, genetically engineered, uh, seeds to be smaller. Just like watermelon. Like, my brain, is my brain doing it? Yeah, it's... The human brain is such an interesting piece of meat slapped into our heads that we still know so little about. Whatever. Uh, I was more of a, hmm, creepypasta? Neat! Anyway, going back to googling girls kissing and then reading the Bible immediately after for absolution kids. <laughs> Dude, googling something really, really sus in images... Oh my lordy lord. For me, it was Sonic the Hedgehog characters. I felt sinful. And it wasn't even anything. It'd be like Shadow the Hedgehog, but looking a little bit more seductive than usual. I'd be sweating bullets. I'd be like, oh god, I hope no one comes in here. <laughs> Into my room. But that's about it. Then I spoke these hidden words to the fiends in front of me. Is this a qu This better be a fucking dream where I'm fucking all of you up. I can never say that to my, to my demons in my head. Where's the comfy room? I guess I could go back to the comfy room. We're not showing anything right now. There you go. Here is really fun. I really love what I did with the pole saying. Very fun time. Secretly drinking water. That sounds like it had drugs or something. Oh my god. It, it Children love disobeying their parents. And since I was an older sibling and not parent... It's really funny having a dynamic of children under the ages of 10 because you're like, you're not their parent, but you're the cooler older sibling. So if I told them to drink water, they do it. But if their parents told them to drink water, they're like, mm -mm. all of a sudden, I think drinking water is cringe. Um, She's locking me up in her room where she did all her crimes. <laughs> no, not here. I wouldn't keep it out here in the open. 
Uh, although, I will ask you if you reach for the bell bars on my uh, shelf. You're tall, right? You're a big, strong Avi viewer who can definitely get those weights over there and not have any, uh, accidents. Am I right, gamers? Oh, yeah. My ish. Oh, yeah. My shelf is really stable. Let's do lines of H2O! <laughs> That is the most cursed sentence ever. I love it. Fucking... Oh, God. No, no. I would rather not. Having water seep into your nose is disgusting. I remember when, like, you would uh, drink water from the uh, water fountain. You'd be ducking your head really low. And all of a sudden, it'd pour out of your nose a little bit because your, your uh, sinus is a little bit too low leveled. That was fun. Parents told me to support Avi in her streams. I think it's cringe now. <laughs> you, when you want to clean your room? All right, I'll do it. Your parent comes in and told you, tells you to clean your room? Dang it, now I don't want to. That, but with Avi streams. Everything's cool until Avi tells you to do it. Hey guys, go ahead and like and subscribe. Every single subscription will support me and... All right, now it's cringe. <laughs> I could, but since you said it, I won't. All right. Don't take away the dishes from your room to the kitchen sink. Don't do it. Let's fucking see what happens when that thing grows into a mold or something. Let's have a science experiment, shall we? So true, oomph, oomph me. I'm disliking everything now. <laughs> Unsubs, <laughs> ungifts your subs. That'd be really funny. Let me go hydrate real quick. Well, I love water. Drinking and staying silent on stream is impossible. I wish I could pay money to unsub others. God, the rate at which that would cause chaos in the Twitch streams would be so fun. Unfortunately, I don't think Twitch would be able to do something as funny as that because people would be so in uproar. Who would be the first person you would gift an unsub to? Come on, chat. Who is the victim? And you can't say yourself. As I walked through a gap that they made, I walked the pearly white stairs to go through. Let's fucking go. Friend, you're writing a story in here right now. I, I, unfortunately, they're not showing up in my activity fee, so I can't follow along with this, weirdly enough. Um, you know what? Screw you. Un Oshis you. No! I become unpeak. <laughs> Becca, where? Um, uh, hive train? More like unsub trained partner plus more like divorced minus <laughs> that's so funny i love that uh not a strange spouse how do you unspouse someone there's a term for that a divorcee divorced minus <laughs> i do love that i call a twitch partner nick is getting an unsub that's what you'd go for that's so funny oh you'd give an unsub to becco that is cruel imagine breaking a, a 20 plus month streak of someone just because you thought it'd be funny anyways anti-marriage oh god um my god okay 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 what did we learn to stream i wanted to talk about the eclipse originally from today's yapping session because i uh, i i saw a website that shows like uh the past of the eclipse for the next uh couple of years <laughs> Because for those of my American friends... Because for my American friends, um... Around the world actually does get, uh, total eclipses as well. Not just, uh, the one that happened in the United States Monday. Uh, in fact, I looked at a couple of them and it's really funny because some of them just appear in the ocean. <laughs> I don't know if I want to show it to you guys because the website that I use to uh, watch this kind of also loves to show uh, where you live. They're like being, they love being like, hey, where do you live, by the way? Maybe we can look for the eclipse that's going to come to your country uh, in a certain year together. Ha, 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 ha. And it's like, oh, you don't even know my location. Stop flexing that you know where I live, please. 
time to grab a boat. No, it's like in the middle of the Atlantic, not even like near the cool countries. Not even the ones near like Britain and America. It's the one near like South America and Africa. So that one has a way bigger gap, I think. Uh, in the world. Uh, what other places than the US get eclipses? I know it's crazy. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's this one website? This one. This one loves to know where I live. It loves flexing that they're like, hey, I know exactly where you live and I know when it's gonna come to you. Uh, but 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 but. Did you just call Brazil uncool? I said it was too far! Okay, we only want to know about the total solar eclipse. The one already happened here. Hold on. Where is it? Where is it? Dang it! Oh my god! Yeah, that was my favorite one. Which one's this one? Oh, it's an annular solar eclipse. So there's different types of eclipses. Uh, the one, the total one, is the coolest one so far, in my opinion. Humble opinion. Uh, the next eclipse is gonna happen in 2026, but it has the funniest, like, route I've ever seen. Uh, there's a way that scientists have calculated the, uh, the path of it, which I think is so fascinating that science has been able to predict things, but it's so funny watching it. Look. For any of you guys that missed the one on Monday, this is your next one. Hello, Avi. Welcome, Sourcemen of the East. We're talking about the eclipse. We uh, had a yapping session about the Lunchables thing. We had a yapping session about a whole bunch of things. But this is my favorite one so far. Hold on. Let me move my big head. Joke's on you! I'm in the US! Oh my god, you are. You are. It's so funny. Okay, hold on. I think this is a good one. Like, if you fucking look, it... it oh, it's crap. It goes all the way from... Antarctica and then a little bit of Africa and before it actually enters the fucking middle of the night happens and it sucks So if you were hoping to catch this one well, you might want to cancel your trip to Greenland or is that Iceland? I don't remember the difference This one's so funny. It just whoops it just, Hold on. It just travels around here And then it goes here a little bit of there and then it's not that's it <laughs> <laughs> so silly. I love how the world works. Soon! Two more weeks! Let's go! Anyways, uh, let me turn it off. That one, that one's such a funny one. I think, hold on, I think I can find the one where he lives in the middle of the night. I gotta be so careful about not showing my address. Partial, partial, annular, total, total. Yeah, so we're gonna miss that one. Do you guys, um... Uh, the difference between Iceland and Greenland is that one is made of ice and the other one is made of green. Yeah, and it's really funny that they're switched up. But um, if you were to ask me which one on the map is which, I wouldn't know. I don't remember. I think the top one is Greenland then and the bottom one is Iceland. Or am I wrong? Uh, man, God doesn't want us to see any eclipses. I know. Sorry, you missed your chance. If you suck that you weren't in Texas or Mexico or uh, Idaho or uh, I don't know. I don't know where anything in America is. <laughs> Hold on, this one, this is the one. If you want to see the one in 2031, you're in luck because this is where it's heading off to. Sorry, spoiler alert! Untagged solar eclipse spoilers. Oh, this is where the sun is going. Never mind, this is not fun. Hold on. This is where the one where it has cool rays if you look in a glass in a glasses thing. Hold on. Come here. Look at this, see? This is just the, the fucking ocean. Hold on. Look at this. It starts in the Pacific Ocean. Heads over here in the middle of it. And then it goes- it decides maybe I should go over there. And before it reaches an actual island, it's already nighttime. <laughs> this is just the ocean! So, does anyone got a boat? <laughs> um... I'm moving out to sea. <laughs> America uh, barely gets it. This is like, uh, where is it? I don't think they have a graph here. I'm at, I'll ask Chia. Chia's all the way like over here, dude. She's not even the right part of, of the coast. Why are people interested in things that aren't there? <laughs> what do you mean? The moon? It's fine. I still saw it uh, through NASA's live broadcast. Was it fun? America, yeah. Hello. Hello. I can't go that high. Uh, I'll grab my yacht. Why a uh, <laughs> yacht? All right, guys, by the time it's, uh, 2031, you better have a boat. And you better be able to calculate how to get to the, uh, to the eclipse here. 
Man, I wish Chia and Ali hanged out together more. Ah, it's a case after. We did have an art thing together. It was really fun. Chia freaked me out so much. I love that woman. She is a crazy person. Look at this. Look at this. The fucking ocean gets nice to you. No, oh, actually, no, I lied. Some islands do. Sorry, I'm so sorry if you live here. <laughs> I'm so sorry if you live in the speck of earth right here. I'm sure those are really huge countries, though. Look, do you see them? There's barely specks of dot. Oh, they don't get it, though, unless they want to slide out there. This one gets it. Oh, I didn't know there were islands in here. Wow, I really am America-pilled. Uh, man. Do you think we will live to see Haley's comet? Didn't that happen, like, years ago? Uh, I wish Avi imploded, but we can't get all the Avi parts. <laughs> I love that. Um, what? Okay, hold on. It's in, it's visible to... Oh, it doesn't tell me. It, the, so the the place that it does land on in that graph on F Japan. Sorry, I'm just so interested in the eclipse. You guys have no idea. Uh, so. Huh. Oh, okay, sorry. I'm like, okay. So everyone else gets a partial sol solar eclipse? Oh. Sorry, I'm, okay, okay. I love I love looking into this. Uh, it passed by in 1986. Dang it, really? Avi boat fun. We have seven years. Oh, God. I actually, when I was in physics, they uh told us about how they calculate locations of missing boats. And let me fucking tell you, I never want to hear the word vector again. I'm gonna have to hear Vector again. <laughs> um, that's an egg yolk. I know. I love that they do it in the shape of an egg yolk because it's like, uh, shows how visible it is. So, you guys. Um, after eclipses happen, there's also a lunar eclipse, which is, um, when the moon t turns red. Uh, I, I feel like I've seen lunar eclipses a lot in my lifetime. Like, maybe like four times that I recall being outside and being like, wow, the moon is red. One of them when I was a child and I was like, wow. Uh, this was after I learned about um, fifth grade, uh, probably fifth grade uh, biology, chemistry. No, no, no. You know the uh, part like after we learn about the solar system and, and ecology and stuff, you learn about things like global warming. And as a child, you're like terrified that you can't do anything because you're like, eight years old 10 8 to 10 years old and you're like oh no i am helpless i will go to the park today and pick up all the litter i can get and then you learn that plastic is not degradable at all and you become so in despair so when i learned that unit was about the time that the lunar eclipse is coming in and if you don't know what the lunar eclipse is uh you should learn what the lunar eclipse is <laughs> If you don't know what the lunar eclipse is, what are you doing in this earth? This happened a couple of times. There you go. The lunar eclipse is when the moon turns red. So when I saw this around the time that I, I thought the world was going to explode soon because I couldn't save it. I was like, dude, we are going to die. <laughs> I was a child. And I saw this, I was like, this is it. This is fucking it. <laughs> I had the equivalent fear that people in the in the old societies used to have. That would be the reason why they have sacrifices to these to these uh galactic things. I came back from asking Chia from asking. Chia told me she will give me a boat to go out to the water. <laughs> That's so funny. I love that. Uh the next time it'll pass is 2061. Hell yeah, dude, let's go! Someday, Avi will have the shape of a submarine and go into the Mariana Trenches and exp- What the fuck? Vectors are awesome. You're so smart. Like going down, 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 finding all kinds of eldritch creatures and then BAM! I like that the eldritch creatures don't kill me. It's just the pressure of water. Lunar eclipses are a lot more common than solar. Yeah, they are. And it's really fun. Now that I'm an adult and I know that the moon is red not because God is angry at us, these things are very cool to witness. They're very common. We have this is this is what happened. This is what happened uh, Monday. Um, 
this this happens. Uh, yeah, it's called the Blood Moon. It's called Blood Moon in Speaky. Does the moon turn blue? The moon also turns blue sometimes, right? Isn't there like a reason for a blue moon? No. Yeah, it did happen! January 20... 31st, 2018! Yeah! Eldritch Creature, sure watch your stream, Zombie! <laughs> Abby saw a red moon, but didn't see any werewolves. Her lives are pretty much ruined after that. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I didn't get to meet my boyfriend. I didn't get to meet a cute werewolf man. Werewolf boy, because I was also a child during this haul. Huh? Alright, blue moons. What are blue moons? Uh... Oh yeah, once in a blue moon is a saying, huh? Why... why do blue moons happen? Uh, the moon can turn blood red, lit by only the light bent around the earth by its atmosphere onto the moon. Uh, how rare is the blue moon eclipse? Um... They actually occur relatively frequently in astrono astronom ast astronomical terms. They occur once every two to three years, huh? Blood moons are cute though, they are cute, it's like the moon is blushing. Uh, oh my god. Never seen a red moon before? Happens rarely, but it's impressive when it does. It's- that's Mars, you dumb! <laughs> Wait, have you never seen the moon? Abby does love the wolf boys. I do. I really do. I spilled so much blood during the blood moon. This chatter tripped in blood. <laughs> Maybe uh, red moons are a bad omen for you. But every anyways guys, uh if have any of you guys actually taken astronomy? I've never taken astronomy before. Oh yeah, there was a super moon last year when the moon just turned a little bit bigger. That was fun. Uh but yeah, uh it's really cool that some nerds in NASA are like, hey, look at these astronomical amazing features we've calculated, measured out, uh predicted. And we'll witness in our lifetimes. I have two moons inside me. Oh no! <laughs> I have two moons outside of me, am I right? They're close to my heart. Uh, uh, if I heard someone saying the moon is blushing, I would honestly be speechless. <laughs> but, but the moon is like often, uh, framed as like the woman and, uh, sun as the man. So saying the moon is blushing is very fun. Why is the moon going through way more phases than a teenager? Would super moon worse? Fuck. Would super moon be when it gets out of the depression? Super moon is when they get a little bit of that uh, weight gain. <laughs> but yeah, isn't um, isn't the Earth beautiful and all of its lovely, glorious uh, things that happen around it? I think it's personally very humbling. Now catching star stuff though. Listen, all I'm saying is. As someone in the city, in the big city, uh, unfortunately, I cannot drive myself anywhere where, um, I can witness meteor showers because pollution! Ooh, ah! Ooh, ah! Sorry, chat. Not to be cringe or anything. I mean, that is pretty cringe. I can't do anything about the car pollution in my area. The moon ate too much cheese. <laughs> I love that. What would it be Obby's moon face? Uh, good question. That is a good question. Uh, I like when um, um. I think it's cool when um. I don't know. I think I'd be the super moon. That's why we need you to bike there instead. Oh god, I don't think I can trust myself biking anywhere in the dark. I want one of those jackets that reflect light, and you know they look very uh bright in the dark. The waxing anus. Is that actually a name? That's so funny. Oh god, no, I was gonna Google that, so thank you for saying that's not actually a thing. I'm an idiot. Uh... Oh, it's a Facebook post. Never mind. Sorry, I was gonna show you guys a cool chart, but uh... It's a Facebook post, and I don't have Facebook. So they're not gonna let me see. Okay, there you go. Open image, new tab. There you go, got it, got it, got it. Alright. There you go. Moon phenomenons. I have only a mild interest in, like, space stuff, only because I can't see it because I'm in the city! Uh... That's one smart wasp? Yeah, I never signed up for it because I 
just had a bad feeling about it as a child. I felt like I was too young for it. Probably the smartest thing I did. All right, a lunar eclipse when the moon moves into the Earth's shadow. When the sun, Earth, and moon are exactly or very closely aligned in synergy, with Earth being the other two. Blue moon is an additional full moon that appears in a subdivision of a year. The third or fourth full moons in a season. Oh, oh I didn't know they're that common. Uh, and you guys can't see it, but there's a super moon. Uh, that occurs around the same time. Several super moons in a year. The single closest new moon and full moon of the. I don't know what these words mean. This infographic is for the people that already know. <laughs> we should blow up the moon so no one can see it. What the fuck? We're not gonna gatekeep the moon. All right, chat. All right, chatterinos. As you guys know, today's week has been a little bit uh, bad for me. First of all, we have a stream mon Wednesday instead of Monday. So I apologize again. We need Peccolo real badly. No! <laughs> Please, no. I love the moon. I like having oceans and waves. Wee. Oh, evaluation. That's fun. Uh, Gaslight like keep moon explosion. <laughs> I love that. No, I like that. I think moons do tidal waves and I don't know what else it does. But probably something very important we don't know about. So, um, let's keep the moon, shall we? Who knows what else the moon does? The fact the moon makes waves is very interesting. Have you guys ever been to the beach? Wait, wait, hold on. Have you guys been to the beach? Ever been to the beach? I've been to the beach. Yes or no? I'm interested. I know some of you guys live in like the countryside, like inside of the countries. I need a, I need an answer to, the, to this question. I bet Avi has some MySpace. <laughs> I didn't. I was too young for MySpace and A AOL. Those are the two things I'm really too young for. I never signed up to, unfortunately. You know the moon is slowly moving away from the Earth. Yeah, but that's okay because I lived when it was here. Maybe it's a good thing humans only live for 100 years. But I like it when my neighbors drown in the tides. The moon needs to go. <laughs> Just steal the moon. Easy. Vamos a la playa. All right, who, how many of you guys have never been to the beach? Because I remember uh, a lot of movies or TV shows have a central themes of I would love to be in the ocean someday. I would love to experience the beach. And it's usually a symbol or like a goal of someone that maybe is dying or they're trapped somewhere or like they're in a society that keeps things hidden. So I remember as a child saying that and be like, what do you mean? The beach isn't that great. It has seaweed. <laughs> It's just water and sand and it, it's coarse and gets everywhere. Now and as an, as an adult, I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot that some people just live in like... I don't know. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, Montana? No. What do you call it? What's the middle of the... Yeah, landlocked. Some people are landlocked and they've just never seen it. Any landlocked bros? I go to the beach to reenact the AOT scene and point to Kosti. Yeah, so it's an attack on Titans too. Um, I don't know what else it is. I think it was in The Giver or I could be wrong. Uh, I live near the beach. Yeah, living near the beach is so cool. Uh, ha I do live near a beach, so yes, but no dogs, please. Oh, of course, of course, of course. If you live near a beach, uh, oh, I don't want to dox you anymore. I think that's very cool. Have you ever had a phone call? And the background noise was whoosh, 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 whoosh. Don't worry, no location is needed. Anyways, your social security number was what again? <laughs> I'm not doc. You don't need to answer it. You could just answer the poll. Uh, polls are anonymous, so not even I can see it. So you guys are safe. Trust me. If there was a way to see who voted for every poll, I would love to know. But I can't. Trust me. There are more atoms in a grain of sand than there are grains of sand in the- That is freaky. Yeah, there's a thing where, like, sand... Um, actually, in some places, grains of sand are illegal to take because, um, they can go, uh, endangered if enough people gather them. Oh, wrong emotes. Uh, it's because, like, some people want to take sand as, like, a monument, uh, or, I guess, gift to themselves? Uh, 
Like, I was here, so I will take the sand, but it can actually add up. I don't know how, though. I'm not gonna math to do the calculations. <laughs> I do sure enjoy when I go out to the beach and accidentally step in a stingray. And that's how I go to the hospital. <gasps> I've never seen a stingray before. Thank God. Memento? Momental. Uh, a monument. Uh, a piece of land. I don't know what the, ner t the term is for keeping something. Color of the sand depends upon what is breaking down nearby. White sand is just fish poop and broken down. Ew, that is yucky. <laughs> Wait, not white sand. Why can't they do a dark color like everyone else? Hoarding. No, that's not the word. Treasure keeping. Uh, scrapbook collecting. Mem memoirs. No, that's writing. Uh, three people have never been to the beach. That's interesting. Um. Uh, Color, okay, uh, stop being callous. I won't go anonymous. I do live near beaches. Now find me. Me living in Florida, the state of beaches. <laughs> How is, uh, Florida beaches? You can, you don't have to tell me, like, specific, specific, specificity. But I know where, actually, no, I haven't been to enough beaches where I am to say, like, which one I'd like. Too far away. Too much traffic. Uh, even miles away in any freeway ron wait i didn't know you streamed welcome welcome thank you so much for the raid thank you so much let me give you a shout out to buddy a shout out to ron win 16. we were talking about the beach and i realized how few people have been to the beach which i was like oh yeah huh that's the thing that landlocked people can't experience they can experience lakes though i want to see a lake i want to go see a lake i i want to see lakes i want to see a frozen lake i don't want to walk across them i just want to see a frozen lake okay i don't want to go ice skating on a real lake i think i'd like my artificial indoor uh skating rings please no thank you welcome kono oh no if another man approaches and asks what are you doing I replied again the hole he then picks one up and joins Oh my god, that's so funny. This happens until there are at least 100 of us and the beach has turned into a small quarry. <sighs> oh my god, Kodo, that's such a good idea. Nothing can persuade a whole crowd to do anything you want like uh getting an extra piece of supplies so that they can join you. Also, uh, I hope you had a fun time playing Dark Souls. That is that is one of the games of all time. <laughs> There's this beach called Kokina Beach in Florida. I've gone to purely because it sounds like, oh my god, cocaina and the sand is white sand. You're kidding. Is that, that is the funniest name of everything I've, of anything I've heard before. And I've heard of towns called like gay people island. <laughs> I just beat it with 472 deaths, including DLC. Uh, that's so cool. Honestly, I know we have a lot of Dark Souls uh, gamers in here. So why is it called cocaine? Oh my god, it is white. It probably is named after cocaine. That's funny. Digging the hole. Yeah, we're talking about digging the holes too. Uh, I just need an out other than all these trees. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what was gonna say? I was gonna say something. Fuck. Oh yeah, beaches. I wanna go to a lake chat. I wanna go collect fishes. And, and I wanna go catfishing. And I wanna witness someone like go i don't know grabbing the inside of a fish's mouth and what do you call it codfish something like that that's why he's called rod win Ooh, that's so good bitter i like that i actually like that i am a mexican honey wasp who just happened to like hexagon my name is abby abispa abby you can call me abby though uh and thank you so much for bringing your lovely community to me he's not ron loose <laughs> i love that being a dark souls gamer sounds super fun I've swam in both beaches and lakes, and so far, beach is a little less scary as I felt a snapping turtle shell while in the lake. That is freaky, dude. Honestly, yeah, I feel like the, uh, the lakes are a bit more terrifying, so I'd love to just... I want to do, like, a rowboat in it, though. Although it is, like, a dangerous pool, though, so I think I'll stick in the shallow parts of it, because, uh... I, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't like going into the deep end in pools, because I am a little bitch boy. I, um, I have family that I used to go to the pool with a lot, but one of my cousins would, uh, try to drown me so that they could float. Uh, so I have a bit of a trauma there. 
Uh, no worries about it. We were kids, so it's cool now, but it was terrifying back then. Uh, thankfully, the shell was all I felt. Yeah, thank God, dude. You would have lost, like, an entire toe. Maybe, like, five of them left. You pretty much have to dig holes. It's like a law. Not from a satyr or anything, but it's a law of nature. <laughs> yeah, the, the holes call for you. Thank you for the 15 bits, MacLinky. No, I am not a bee. And yes, I do love gummy worms, but unfortunately, my uh, gastrointestines beg that I eat something other than gummy worms. Hey, maybe we can look up uh, what uh, gummy worms are made out of. No, too terrifying. Let's rent a VTuber lake house and recreate Cabin in the Woods. Hey, I've never seen Cabin in the Woods. What happens? <laughs> Mods, she's trauma dumping again. Get her off my screen. You know what? This is deserved. I might be landlocked, but at least I have one of the biggest lakes in Europe. <gasps> Wait, that's a cool uh, trade-off, though. You probably... Um, honestly, uh, if you were to visit a beach, though, uh, not you. I don't know how landlocked you are. But I think it would be really cool to like see which European beach is like highly regarded as something really cool. Some beaches are like kind of trashy or boring and their their uh, shores are too expensive. But I have been in one beach where there was a lot of culture in it and it was very cool seeing like different vendors and different events and it was so gamer. Uh, I won't say which beach though because I love gatekeeping. I went to Croatia a few times. I've never heard of that before. That's awesome. Uh... How's the bug hating mission? <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Send me to the beach, throw me to the plank, whatever. Actually, now that we're on the topic of food a long time ago. It was Venice, Venice, Venice Beach. No, it wasn't Venice Beach. <laughs> but I know the Barbie movie uh, took place in Venice Beach. <laughs> And that's very cool to me because uh, because I have a friend that lives there and I had a dream not I have a dream but I could ask my friend to take the Avi Fumo drive all the way back take them to Venice Beach and recreate the Barbie movie scene with the with the ski skating anyways uh let's see what go ew 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 real gummy worms ew 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 Venus Beach. <laughs> Venice. Running out of beach house and going fishing in their backyard pier would be very gamer, but no money. Yeah, I'm getting a rent house or, or something just to rent anywhere in the coast. Very expensive. I want to go to uh, uh, East Coast beaches, though. What are East Coast beaches like, chat? If you guys have ever been there. Uh, or we can go to the real Venice. Oh my god, yeah. Uh, isn't Venice in... Uh... Is Venice in Italy? Is Venice in Italy? Chat? Is Venice in Italy? East Coast kind of boring. Ugh! Never mind then. Venice is in Luxembourg. You're lying! No! Happy birthday, Avi! It's not my birthday! Yes, Avi. Doesn't it sound real. Venice? Venice is waiting for you. Wait, wait. No, I was thinking Vienna. Sorry, sorry. Venice is in Italy. Vienna? Is that Austria? Venus is the country of Venus. Ha ha, you guys think are really funny, huh? We got some real clowns in the audience. Vienna. Capital of Austria. Whoa, I didn't know that. Okay, sorry. I confused uh, names with V a lot. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. What do I know? Okay. Yeah, so, um, did you guys know that, uh... Hold on. Made of animal byproduct, often bones, which not only make gummy worms non-vegan, but makes us feel pretty gross about eating them. Yeah, did you know that, uh, some gummy worms are made out of, uh, animal bones? Uh, by- oh, sorry, byproducts? And people say that, uh, it's mostly pigs that gummy worms are made out of. <laughs> So technically, I'm kind of interested if you can actually feed a creature. Like one of those fan fantasy creatures like werewolves or zombies or, or vampires where they're like, I need to eat human meat. I need to have uh, 
like consume flesh and bones and all that. What if you could just give them a gummy worm? Would that help? Because like in uh, Baldur's Gate, for example, you learn one of the characters you uh, have a companion with is a vampire. And he's like, I accidentally ate that goat because I crave for human flesh, but I can't have it. And, and you can just toss him a gummy worm. How uh, easy would it be to have them as a companion then? You can just go to like a gas station. Duh. I'm going to gear up in summer. I'll fly by and pick you up, Bobby. <gasps> really? Which part of the... Actually, no. Don't tell me. Don't dox yourself. But that's so exciting. Wow. Happy birthday, Bobby. Thank you. Not you. Thanks for the birthday cheers. Even though I... It is not my birthday. Are you suggesting human made gummy... No, no, no. I'm suggesting that it should be like a vampire friendly option. Not humans. That would be really funny, though. The murderer has a gummy worm farm. But the secret ingredient humans but they have a pig farm so they can eat the rest of the humans or something like that vegan vampires need to be represented yeah so a uh, gummy worm is not vegan friendly that's so funny i don't know what kind of vampires you see in eating meat uh 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 like the ones in baldur's gate where like a lot of the angst is they can't eat humans so they try to eat like meat and stuff like blood bags and stuff or or werewolves where they have like a urge to eat a uh, lamb and and sheep and cows and stuff uh the chupacabra avi just wants a nibble of the no not the human flesh that would be pretty nasty um actually i heard the brain is unable to process human meat uh as in like if you eat the brain there's a bacteria in there that could kill you i don't know why if I had a quarter for every VTuber I follow who has an interest in good- I DON'T WANT TO EAT HUMAN FLESH! I was just making a funny Hannibal Lecter joke. I do not want to eat human flesh. The only one- the only one that matters. Glorious Leich- Leichten. Leich- Leich- Leichten. Leichtenstein. I've never heard of that before. I'm gonna Google that. No bacteria. Prions! And you can still eat everything minus the brain. Yeah! Uh, something about the brain makes you funny. Uh... That's what a cannibal would say. Not- I am not cannibal! I don't know why I'm getting an accent now. I guess because uh, Count Dracula was created in Germany, right? Were they created in Germany? Yeah. But yeah, I think it'd be really funny to add uh, gummy worms to the list of uh, things to calm down your werewolf boyfriend when he's hungry for meat. Just give him some uh, meat from the farmer's market or the butcher's kitchen. For the butchers, I guess you can just say. I don't want to be a cannibal. Have you trying to impress the wolf boys by being a cannibal? I don't want to be a cannibal. Thank you for the ten bits, by the way. I don't want to be a cannibal. I want to eat regular food. I'm just saying that actually, technically, by technicality, you could argue that um, supposedly, hypothetically, gummy worms are not vegetarian friendly because they're made of a. Uh, uh, Pork remains, uh, pig remains, or horse. Oh, wait, not horses. Uh, what is it? Uh, what are trolley gummy worms made out of? Uh, gelatin is an ingredient that is made out of, uh, remains. Oh, I don't want to see this. I don't want to read gummy worms. I don't want to see actual worms, though. The pink thing freaks me out. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? You can make, uh, homemade gummy worms. Uh, uh, hold on. That's my duck. I'm trying to see like an actual uh, credible source about uh, gummy worms. Uh, but yeah, uh, dogs um, like to eat the inside of uh, bone marrows. Uh, so uh, it's actually not recommended they eat that though because um, the sharpness of the bones can hurt their inside. So I think a friendly solution to calm down your werewolf boyfriend would be uh, giving them gummy worms since uh, gelatin is made out of a... Uh, the human, the, sorry, the remains of uh, animal bones. This is interesting. So isn't that one Oreo shake from Baskin Robbins because it triggers uh, seafood allergies? Uh, that, I feel like I've heard about it because, uh, shit, I heard about it. It had some weird chemical thing. Bye, back, Linky. You wouldn't eat human cake? No. Wait, I also like eating bone marrow. Oh, God, save me. No, me too, though, but you gotta be careful with the shards. I used to, like, eat that thing as a child. I used to bite into chicken bone. 
I don't know why the inside of chicken bone marrow was really, really delicious to me. But then uh, I accidentally stabbed myself on the top of my mouth uh, and I was like, Owie! Okay, maybe I should stop it. Sorry, I got back. What are we talking about? Uh, we're talking about that the inside of bone marrow is used to make a uh, gelatin, which by extension makes gummy worms and jello. So, they are not uh, vegan friendly. But gelatin is in basically in almost everything gummy or in jello. There are vegan alternatives like agar 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 in Southeast Asia. I've never heard of that. That's cool. Uh, let me go see what that is. Be careful over the next full moon, Avi. Oh, the wolf boys will come to get you. <laughs> oh my god. I'm, oh, agar agar. Oh, I've seen these things before. I thought they were gross. Uh, <laughs> um, I taste. Yeah, yeah. I remember uh, seeing agar agar. Hold on. Let me show you guys. These things. Uh, I've seen the uh, this thing before. I've seen this uh, exact thing. I tried it and I hated it as a kid. I might like them now as an adult with my own opinions and I'm not a baby anymore. I don't need sugar for everything now. Uh, she's so Oh my god, no. Uh, right, 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 right. But what the fuck are we saying about the werewolf BS? Oh, so um, in a lot of tropes about like having someone be a werewolf, uh, usually they hunger for like uh, lamb or pig or like meat. Uh, so since dogs actually like to eat the inside of bone marrow, uh, I th and uh, gummy worms are made of inside the bone marrow, I think it'd be funny to like uh, quell their um, hunger for that with the gummy worms. <laughs> they hunger for tomboys. God, I wish. We must help you learn how to be, be a better carnivore because you can't just stab yourself with the bones <laughs> yeah that's basically what it is we lost our sense we lost a lot of cool bone stuff i believe i don't know how much humans were able to eat through bones i don't think they were able to it's 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 the oh fuck we have an ad in about soon i'm so sorry for my not subscribers not being able to tell you guys about it i apologize hold on things that are made of animals like, can it like gelatin? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, um, have a good day. Oh, sorry, not have a good day. Uh, sorry for my non subscribers. You will be disappearing soon. I got gifted a sub. Hello, Stranger Danger 6921. Uh, hi, welcome. I don't know if you've been here before or, or, uh, or if you just got jump scared by the, uh, subscribe. Probably by Blue Paws. Um, uh, they trapped you in here though. We're gonna have a three minute ad session and by that time we will not we will hold off until our non-subscribers come back. Ah! Right now we're gonna stretch. You're gonna get three minutes of silent obby. Glue is made out of horses in the past. Yes, I've heard about the glue thing. Not a consumable thing, but you know, close enough. Can you poison a werewolf chocolate? Probably. I think if I was a werewolf, I would end it all because I love chocolate. Hold the door! <laughs> That's not the PJ. And for that time, we will not talk about what's in the ads. <laughs> I did like as a child gluing my hand, letting it dry, and unpeeling myself. I'm so glad I never saw that scene in American Psycho where he takes off his face mask because I don't know, I didn't know what face mask is as a child. And I probably would have recreated it Soul with Steel. glue. <laughs> for 22 months. Welcome, Soul Seal Jax! V tier, thank you for the 22 months of subscribing to my channel. I appreciate it so much, dude. Uh, thank you. Uh, I see what you do with the B tier thing. Ha <laughs> ha, real funny. I'm gonna go hydrate angrily. If RL wolves travels in packs, would it be an instant harem anime? That is a good question, actually. Um, I can only date one. Sorry, and they have to be close to my age. Sorry, and um, they have to like anime and video games. Um, and they also have to have um, um, a shower often. Um, and they have to 
have a driver's license. <laughs> it made you smile. And that's a W to me. Hell yeah, let's go! And, um, they have to... Um... Um... Be a cool werewolf color. <laughs> Whoa, look at this chick with impossible standards. <laughs> I'm trying to make them higher. I was like, oh shit, what else do I ask for a werewolf BF? Um, um. <laughs> Wait, pause your cooking there. Okay, guys, you have to either be a wolf or a girl. Someone pin that comment. Also, welcome, Damon. Someone pin that comment now. Where are my mods? I'm gonna do it myself. Either be a wolf or a girl. That is- I thought about it last night too. I thought about that. I was like, okay, what is my type? I'm, I'm not able to think of my types. And if I were to say it, I guess it would be that. There you go. We did it! Customize. What do you like? Okay, 10 minutes. It's funny. It gave, it gave me a good chuckle. Not 20, 10 minutes. No. I think I did it. Yeah, I think I did it. I think I did it. I think I did it. Yeah, I'm, I I don't need my mods. I'm a free thinking woman. Free thinking, ew. Um, least demanding YouTuber. <laughs> a VTuber. I keep calling myself a YouTuber. Uh, I can't read Wolfpack without thinking on Wolfpack. The Ethel song. I never heard that one before. Oh, wait a minute. I think I have. Guess I gotta be born with good genetics. That's a wolf man. <laughs> Impossible standards to never have a heart broken. Exactly. But not wolf girls. Uh, for girls, the wolf has could be optional. Although I haven't seen a lot of wolf girls in media. I know Juno is a. <laughs> okay, guys, it is two p.m. Uh, we are going to end the stream soon because we are gonna have a movie night. Uh, the last movie. We will see. For that is related to transportation chat, by the way. Um. <laughs> <laughs> the movie which I remember what it's called. And it's gonna be... It's not Transformers, no. But if you guys are new to this channel, I would like to ask for you guys to join us for a movie night. Oh, today is movie night? I'm not so not up to date. I'll be back soon. It's okay, Blue Pops. No, 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 don't worry about it. It'd be easier to be a wolf on the internet if they got the... <laughs> oh my god, it's like the Amish. We don't see them anymore because they can't join us. Uh... Uh, what movie? Uh, it is a movie that has a train going through an ice place, and I remember what it's called. Uh, it is called, um, um, Chris, what is it? I don't remember what it's called. Snowpiercer, thank you, Damon. How did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's called Snowpiercer movie. Uh, Scribs recommended it to us. Whoever recommended it to us, uh, Train to Busan. I love it. It made me really sad though. Ooh, Icebreaker or something like that. Yeah, Snowpiercer. <laughs> I like that two balls that got confused. Icebreaker, Snowpiercer, Frostpunk. No, not. I mean, I guess that is a genre, huh? I've heard of Frostpunk. It's not a video game. Uh. Uh, Jacob, someone made a really good video called Fear of the Cold, and that game scared me. I mean, that video essay scared me. I never seen so much about, uh, coldness in media. I read, um, To Start a Fire, and that spooked me as a ninth grader. No, 11th grader. Willy Wonka and the Ice Tree! <laughs> Wait, is, uh, that guy there? The cold is eldritch. It is. I hate it. As as a fellow coaster, I can't handle it. I shake like a chihuahua. Fear of cold. It's a good video essay. Remember in all this talk. Thank you. I will hydrate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jacob Geller. Exactly. Um, wear two jackets. Oh my god, you're so right. You kind of cut there. Uh, okay. Today we're going to raid someone else. Today we're going to raid. I'm gonna go see my raid list before we go raid. Oh, they're probably gonna ask James in. Oh, oh. Okay, let me go see something real quick about a special something. 
I see, I see. Okay, don't worry. I love checking out a streamer to see if they're gonna end stream soon. So if you see me a little pausing, that's why. Okay, uh, I know who'd raid. All right, so we're gonna watch the video uh, movie soon. Uh, Snowpiercer, please join us. It'll be at 3 p.m. So about uh, 40, 50 minutes from now. Why stop at two? Where three? Honestly, I hate the fact that you need a layer because uh, I have this really special brand of pants that is terrible and i don't know why i owned it probably like back when i was in middle school 12 a.m i know not you <laughs> Naya, you're such a real one i'm so sorry to our euro bros our streams are euro friendly our watch alongs are america friendly 4 p.m <laughs> i'll have to go to the gym with my wife i love that video my wife i don't know where the source of it is but i did watch that video my wife sorry sorry Wait, Lunchables lead? Yeah, they got lead now, brother. Or sister, or lemmer. <laughs> them blink. <laughs> I miss my wife, Tails. My wife. Yeah, Borat or something. I never watched it. I'll be missing the sn snow piercer. No worries. Uh, can we have them in reverse? Make stream American friendly, brother? Uh, but then I'd have to make stuff. Uh, the after party euro friendly and have watch alongs at like 3 a.m <laughs> honestly that's probably when i'm watching a movie if i stay up at 3 a.m it's over for me i'm putting on a show i can't wait to pierce the snow me neither uh what snacks are you guys gonna bring i'm gonna go ahead and start the raid but thank you so much for coming here uh copy six i'm so sorry you catch the tail end of the stream uh we're just gonna have a simple wasp raid I don't know what game oh they're playing something called a horror animal crossing interesting uh this is molly mishi molly i am working on a little art project with uh mishi molly uh so i'm very cool excited that they're streaming right now <laughs> they are a person from new zealand i believe okay don't don't quote me on that actually don't know where they are uh Molly Mishi Molly Mishi Molly is a snail illustrator. I've shown you them before. They've done really cool cryptid art in an amazing style. Uh, they do a lot of the art themselves. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, New Zealand. I think it's a New Zealand beat. Don't call me on it. Hold on. Okay, I don't think it's a New Zealand. Fuck. I think it's someone else. Okay, don't don't say don't don't okay. Don't ask me where they are, but I think they, I think this one's New Zealand. Either that or they just stream very, very late. You can go find them. them. How did I miss the rest? I apologize, Cappy6. <laughs> Wolf boy, it ain't no cryptid. <laughs> it's not a cryptid. It's more like a... What do you call them? So there's like genres of fantasy characters. There's like the regular wolf, vampire, Frankenstein. And then there's the modern day Siren Head, uh, Jeff the Killer, Slender Man. And then there is like the toy ones of uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, uh, Poppy's Playtime. Sorry, I'm thinking now. Let's go raid. Uh, do not do by the donkey as a rain message. No, <laughs> we are going to do a normal wasp raid. Wasp raid. Sorry, guys. I was very, very, uh, I was very excited to talk about the Lunchables with you guys. That was a very fun part of the stream. Buy human meat! No, do not. not do not uh, grind human bones to make jelly out of them and then feed them to me. <laughs> Ew! No, no, don't do it, Avi. Don't think about it. I wonder what kind of bones taste... No! Alright. That will be the raid message. We will go ahead and raid. Mishimali, you're playing what looks to be a game. I'm not too sure what it is. Oh, Rental! That's the name of the game. Molly? This wasp is full of microplastic! That is actually a really funny raid message. I like that too. But that was gonna be your birthday gift. No, no! Take that back! I don't want humans! I'm not a cannibal. Abby wants to kiss a wolf boy. <laughs> I like that. Have a good day, everyone. Well, have a good rest of your Friday. And it is not my birthday. But if it was... You would know because I'd be so whiny about it. Have a good day, everyone. Goodbye. I had um macho with a uh, 
I had matcha with an extra shot in it. I don't know if you guys were able to tell. I bet you guys weren't able to tell. Okay, maybe a little bit. We could tell. <laughs> Happy not birthday. Thank you, Cogfather. Be care. <laughs> I like that. Wink! Don't wink. The FBI could read this. Avi wants to kiss the wolf. That's not the raid message. That's not the raid message. That's not the raid message. Thank you for the raid again. Thank you. I appreciate it a lot. Bum, bum, da, da. No, 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 don't do that. No, I'm fag. Oh my god. <laughs> 